let Steve take over from here. Okay, Diane, thank you very much. Um, and we are aware of your time constraint till five o'clock, so we will try to adhere to that. Um, organizationally, before we get started, um, this is something that hasn't either hasn't come up in the past, has not come up very often. Um, Muffy, because she wasn't going to be here, sent an email both to myself and to Skyler, extending extending to Skyler her proxy vote. And the question I have from the committee and from common personnel also is how anybody feels about accepting her proxy vote today. It's good with me. Is there any objection to that? I object, yeah. Okay. On any group basis? Well, uh, I'm, the thing is that she feels that she and Skyler are pretty much on the same, uh, uh, vote the same way about things, but I'm not sure about that, so I object. I object for whatever it's worth. Okay. Are there any other objections to that? I guess I would like to take a vote of those in favor of accepting uh, Muffy's proxy through Skyla. If you could say aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Great. Okay. okay, so it, it passes uh, four to one. Okay, very good. Well, thank you very much. Okay, um, today, um, obviously, there are several issues to be dealt with, but the newest and biggest thing is going to be from John Hennessy, who's going to bring us up to date on the uh, river project, if you would, yes. uh, both in terms of, and I guess, John, I mean, obviously, I'm not sure how many other people have had an explanation of the scope of the project. We certainly would like some of that, but maybe we don't want to get buried in the details, but we do need to move to the money aspect of it and how you envision that, and obviously from Fred and Milk, how they envision that moving forward and how it will integrate into our other financial commitments moving forward. So. Without, without any further ado, and you can come right up here, John, if you would right. like. Thank you very much. I uh, was at the select board meeting uh, a week ago, and at the bond hearing last night, I gave a presentation. I got copies here tonight just to hand out to the members of the budget committee. <coughs> we got some extras here, too. So okay. Thank you. Several members were in attendance at either both or one of those two meetings, so I will keep my comments very brief tonight and focus on the facts, particularly the funding for the project. My notes would be helpful in this presentation. Yes, usually. Uh, so we've been working on this project for two years, and this commission, uh, I'm the chairperson of the commission, uh, it's a 12-member volunteer commission. Uh, we're working at the pleasure of the select board who appointed the commission members about uh, two years ago. Uh, Fred is a member of the commission and has uh, worked very diligently on the project as well. And uh, three key points I want to make tonight. The first is the support and the partnerships that the project has generated to date. Uh, the primary goal of the project, which is to fix the oldest infrastructure in town along the Saranac Amanusik Mill Street corridor, and third, the funding. It's been the Commission's goal to bring the taxpayers of Littleton the best value package possible, so the lowest taxpayer impact while leveraging any money that the town has put forward towards this project to bring in the most outside funding possible. Um, so first, uh, and Diane, uh, I'll try to speak to the details that I just handed out, and if, uh, if you'd like a copy of the presentation, I'm glad to email you one um, after the meeting here. That would be great. Uh, the, the commission has a wide variety of expertise on it. There's engineering expertise, there's funding, uh, conservation, planning, so uh, it was assembled in a very thoughtful way by the select board. Um, the Commission has worked very closely with Littleton Water and Light, who has contributed their uh, advice to the project to make sure that projects are done in tandem and there's no rework necessary from either angle. LIDC and Littleton Main Street have worked on very similar projects in the past and have provided their expertise and have really worked hand in hand with the River District Commission in designing this project to take advantage of the expertise that they have as well as to avoid any of the challenges that they've encountered in the past. And uh, the Planning Board, Conservation Commission, and Energy Commission all have liaisons that regularly attend the meetings so that their uh, interests are incorporated as well. Uh, in total, there have been 30 businesses that have contributed to the project and over 100 volunteers that have worked on this over the past couple of years. As far as the project itself goes, uh, if you flip to the second page of the handouts I gave you, we're looking at a $7.5 million overall project that we've broken down into five phases. And... Uh, 
the primary objective, again, is to fix the infrastructure. It's the oldest in town, and it's been costing money. Maintenance has, um, has continued to pop up over the past couple of years. The town spent $50,000 on a significant stormwater and sewer interconnect issue. Uh, in 2013, there's been a water line break recently and uh, a sinkhole as well that had to be addressed. We've got environmental impact with the storm and sewer cross connects that uh, is impacting the river. And uh, what we're trying to do is instead of trying to fix this 100% financed by the taxpayers of Littleton, by looking at it as a river district project, we really think we can leverage significant outside funding so the town impact is minimal. In addition to that, uh, you know, once the infrastructure is complete, we're confident we've done studies to look at economic development that will result from this job creation as well as just having a nice area for the residents of the town to enjoy. Um, as far as pro progress goes, I'm showing that on the next slide. Um, the, the planning is complete, and, and it's time to move forward and get the funding to do the construction for the project. Um, the, there's a comprehensive plan. We have shoreline protection exem exemption done. There's been traffic and parking studies done, um, two parking studies, in fact. We've got engineering volunteer work that was completed on detailed sections that are real problems. And uh, most recently, Horizons Engineering took the authorization from the town at the last town meeting and has completed its engineering uh, plan for the north side of this district, um, which encompasses uh, three, the first three phases of the project. Um, we've got a permaculture plan, which addresses environmental concerns along the river, and the demonstration project was done last June, uh, which raised the archways along Main Street as well as the sidewalk and the fencing down along the river. So planning is done. Uh, on to funding. So the town authorized $80,000 to be spent on this project, $50,000 on the engineering, and $30,000 to negotiate rights away. That engineering plan, the commission uh, and the town really wanted to make sure that we were as frugal as possible with the funds that were authorized. So the contract was awarded to Horizons Engineering of Littleton for $35,000 of the 50 that was authorized. They've completed the project within that budget. And where's what's been done with that money? Well, not only have we completed the engineering project, but that money's been leveraged to attain uh, over a uh, million dollars of total project funding to date. So mm -hmm. we've got uh, the 80,000 contributed by the town has now turned into a million uh, dollars plus, 250,000 from private entities, 400,000 from the state, 250,000 from the federal government plus a $50,000 rail trail grant. So in the packet I handed out, I put some renderings, just uh, snapshots that you've seen before, plus one comprehensive snapshot that overlays the vision of the whole district over the engineering plan uh, that's been done. So why now? Uh, we've got the support on a state and federal level. Uh, we've made 25 presentations to different officials, and all of the key state and federal officials have been here to tour the project. They have bought into the vision that we have and the plans that we've completed. Um, and they've written letters of support for the project um, to federal DOT on our behalf. We also have, so we've got the momentum, certain funding that we've uh, achieved so far, including the federal $250,000, are time sensitive. So now is the time to move this project forward. And most importantly, uh, the way that we have funded, as, as a, the town of Littleton, past projects that are infrastructure projects of this nature, the way we've achieved the outside funding is to put some money forward ourselves first to show the level of commitment that the community has, and then the state and federal authorities are much more willing to contribute the funds. That's the way that we've done uh, the Main Street reconstructions, the way we did the Opera House, the Reddington Street Bridge, and we're following a similar model to that and are confident that we'll have success with it. So the bond measure that, that the commission unanimously recommended to bring to the select board uh, is a $500,000 bond. It will be funded with a combination of sewer funds and taxes. Uh, uh, it's going to be used for infrastructure improvements and uh, two really key points. One is the bond would not be uh, available to be placed by the select board until $2 million worth of outside funding is achieved. So it would be contingent upon that. 
and most likely the timing of the placement of the bond would be 2016 or later because of the additional funding that would be uh, would be achieved in the meantime it takes some time to put that together so we're likely not looking at any payments in in 2015 uh, interest payments in 2016 with the first principal payments most likely in 2017 could even be beyond that, but we want to be conservative um, in presenting it to the taxpayers. So if we look at the total package, with that $2 million contingency, we're looking at a, a guaranteed 20% local funding, 80% outside funding arrangement, uh, which is very similar to what the taxpayers have supported in the past. And if that is fully leveraged to get $7.5 million project done with the $500,000 bond, plus the 80,000 that was authorized and 40,000 warrant here that uh, we'll talk about later. It would be somewhere around 10% town funded, 90% outside funded. So uh, the commission waited until we had a good value proposition to bring to the town and felt that now is the time to do it. And this commission felt that this was a very uh, attractive package for the taxpayers of Littleton and would encourage the budget committee to support it. Questions? Okay. Uh, how do you come up with the seven and a half million dollars for the complete, you're talking about seven and a half million dollars, complete the project that's I mean, from Meadow Street all the way to Mill Street, all the way to the bridge, to the other bridge? Well, uh, how do you, you know, explain to me, please. Right. So on the, along the north side of the river here that we're sitting on now, yeah. from the Meadow Street, Saranac Street intersection yes. by Corey Sports Shop. Yes to down to Cottage Street. That's the that's the the view of the River District Commission. Basically bridge to bridge or old bridge to yeah. previously existing bridge to this bridge. Right. To the existing bridge from uh, Saranac and Mago all the way to the bridge of the year you're talking about. Yeah, so really it term it it passed Chilling Brewery and, and okay, terminate okay, that pass, the, pass the Main Street connection again. And, and you guys come up with the seven and a half million dollars. That's a, that's a long, long scratch away, man. You so, know, you gotta buy property, but you know, you gotta buy property, right? You gotta relocate the people from the property that you buy, right? But you're not know, relocating you know, people. There's you, there's three primary properties, and it's in the phase of. Uh, relocating the, the intersection at Saranac and Meadow Streets, so the ones that Fred referred to last night. There's one property that he's currently in discussions with a lawyer. That property is, is going through a some kind of uh, foreclosure, foreclosure, foreclosure proceeding. That would be the only property that would um, require, relo require any relocation. The other two of those three properties would not require any people to be relocated. And That's meaning for this project you're going to relocate it just to one family? Correct. Just yeah. one family? Yeah. It sounds kind of, you know. Well, so part of the design is, I, is to I, avoid uh, impacts to private property as much as possible. The, the okay. town and the commission have been very con concerned about about that fact and I, worked hard to avoid. What anything. you tried to say, that the only people involved on this project over here Started from uh, from uh, from Saranac, you know, from middle Saranac. It's the people on the right, not the people on the left, right? I mean, started from middle street, go all the way up from there to there. You you you're talking about just the people on your right with the tanneries, right? Well, well, the three properties I'm referring to are all surrounding the Saranac Meadow Street intersection area where the road would be realigned. And you're right. On the right side. If you're if you're driving from that from, end to from here, those three properties are on the right hand side of the road. Yes. <clears throat> you know, it's kind of a, I. You know why I ask you? I'm so real persistent about that. Uh, I'll be honest with everybody. I'm against the project, automatic. But if you could give me an idea that when somebody asks, right, I can tell them, you know, what you tell me, but. Don't you think, you know, seven and a half million dollars to do all the infrastructures, okay? Buy some property, relocate, and then, you know, tear down whatever you got to tear down and stuff like that. Don't you think 
seven and a half million. You you sure you're gonna make it with the seven and a half million dollars? You positive? Each of the each of these phases has been estimated by an engineering firm. Oh, so it's not it's not an estimate by me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because it's a long stretch, you know what I'm trying to say, you know, from down there all the way to about here, you know, it's kind of, you got to tear down the property and stuff like that. Uh, okay. Well, the, the only relocated property is the one that we've already referred to. And then, uh, tell me another thing, do the investors, whoever is going to invest, you know, in this particular project, do they going to, quote unquote, dig, uh, you know, their hands in the pocket? Or they just want everything, you know, serve it on a silver plate. Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Okay, what am I referring to? This? The investors, whoever is going to invest in that, right, to build the restaurant, to build the condominium, do they going to dig in their own pocket for, you know, to help the taxpayer, or they expect the taxpayer to contribute, you know, the, mo the model that Littleton has followed in the past, if you look at projects like the industrial park, the town put a, an amount of funding in, in the industrial park's case it was a million dollars, leveraged an additional three to build the four million dollar industrial park. And then the businesses, with the infrastructure in place, then came and decided to build businesses which then now generate $600,000 a year in taxes. This so is not for the taxpayer. Right? The, model, right the model here is similar where, the, so where we would leverage outside funds as much as possible to repair the infrastructure, and then business uh, economic development would come as a result of that. All right. But the businesses would be making independent decisions and contribute to the tax base as a result of being attracted to the area by the infrastructure. All right. So maybe just a couple of points of clar Thank you. clarification. We could. Okay, so the, okay, so Five hundred thousand dollars is what you're asking for authorization. That would not be executed until there was a minimum of two million dollars committed in non-taxpayer funds. Non-taxpayer funds. Yes. And non-taxpayer funds could come from it's primarily going to be state and federal grant money, okay. which is taxpayer funds. Right. Which is not local taxpayer funds. Right. The federal and state grant money. It, it's already funded. Right. So I'm saying, but our money goes to the state. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. but it's but it's either going to go to cities out, outside of New Hampshire or other towns in New Hampshire, or it could come to Littleton. It's it's going to be spent one way or another. We should try to benefit as much as we can from that money. Okay, so the the five hundred thousand dollars. The next kicker. If you uh, just one second, if you would mind, I'll just want to share my my thought here, process. Um, okay, so the two 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 million dollars worth of outside funding. Okay, so that gives us two and a half million dollars. Okay, the the first two projects total two point eight million. So the the other three hundred thousand from there would come from. Well, so the the challenge with these projects is you never know which funding yeah. is going to come yeah. at which time. Right. So what we're going to try to do yeah. in this next year is to attain. We've got three primary grants that we're looking to apply for. The Grafton County Economic Development, mm -hmm. the Economic Development Administration, so federal grant, as well as the federal DOT Tiger Grant Program. And so we're going to put in applications for the full seven and a half million dollar project. So what gets funded will partially dictate which phases can be built out at which times. But is it, are you thinking that it's realistic that the Total funding from the town of Linton is going to be that five hundred thousand, or might there be more to come? The goal, the goal is the five. So eighty's been authorized yeah. so far, yeah. plus the five hundred, yeah. and the forty thousand dollar warrant that uh, has been put in as a warrant article. The goal is for that to be the full funding that the town puts forward, and to get the rest of it from outside sources. Yeah. And I know there's no guarantee, but that's the strategy and a reasonable expectation we hope. Absolutely. Okay, and now and looking at this. Main Street reconstruction phase two. Mm -hmm. That is, that's phase two to phase one that we did yes. three or four years ago. Yes. That, that, that's the same phase that we that, that we had envisioned the first time around. So that would complete us all the way to the intersection of Meadow Street and West Main Street. Uh, I believe they actually went a little further down to uh, Rite Aid oh. uh, to looking at widening that section of Meadow Street too. Oh, okay. VHB did the original design work, and when we contracted with them to update their numbers, um, it was recommended they take it the next step down because 
that portion of Meadow Street is still quite narrow. Okay. West Main Street stays as is beyond that yes. intersection. Okay. Just make sure I, you know, I have, I've kind of followed this from the outside, John, but I obviously, you haven't seen my face at your meetings. My apologies, but uh, uh, sometimes we only get so much time. But anyway, okay, I, Eddie, sorry, I just wanted to get that in my mind before. I think part of my question has already been answered, but with Article 3, which is for the River, River uh, District Commission redevelopment project, which is $500,000, and then there's Article 27. Which is River District acquisition of land, which is another forty thousand dollars. It appears to me like they're looking for five hundred forty thousand dollars in taxpayer money. Correct. There you go. What's the eighty they already got? Plus the other eighty. Yeah. Yeah, that right. uh, I have a question. Do you have uh, any paperwork that would say uh, what Main Street reconstruction? Uh, consists of, in other words, what these things consist of, broken down? Uh, that was the engineering yes. report. Um, that was presented at a River District Commission meeting. Do the we engineering have... report that Horizons prepared, it has all of these component uh, projects broken down. Is that um, That's available? Right available? Sure, yeah. I'd like to get that if possible. Yeah. Are, are, Okay. I was just going to say, the, the yeah. town owns that report so that they'd be the best to contact on that. Are we now discussing the Riverside project? As well, I mean, yes or no? Unless, John, you have anything else to present. No, uh, I've completed my presentation. Okay, all right. And anybody have any other questions of John's presentation in terms of any missing pieces or? No, I was just curious about um, what the breakdown on this, on all these would be. So, because you you you, you um, seem to know a bit, because you were involved in phase one of what they're doing, but I don't know what phase two consists of. We're, we, I heard a widening, okay, well, so well, I, I don't know a lot of things about that. So. In layman's terms, I mean, these the part that I was involved in. I mean, we the Main Street reconstruction had two segments to it. Well, this it, being the most important one, which was passed, the second one was not funded at that time, but basically it was to complete Main Street. We went down, the original phase went to just about where Saranac Street starts, brings us off, or right across from the old a &P, which probably doesn't mean anything. Well, well, to cut down on time, yeah. uh, if, if they've got uh, something yeah. that I can see what, what it means by complete. Oh, sure. Okay. Yes, okay. All right, so any other questions of John or discussion on the merits of the proposal? Yeah, as long as we're not, we're not, you're not setting up for a yes or no vote yet, are you? Very soon. Okay, then I do have uh, some comments. Do you have questions for John or do you want to comment on the vote? Comment on the, on, on the vote. So, you're done. Okay. John, thank you very thank much. And thank you, for, thank you for all thank your you. work. Appreciate obviously. it, John. Okay, um, because of timing and John being here, I would like to move to that as the first article that we're going to consider. Diane, you're with us, I trust? I still am. Thank you very much. Um, we appreciate your perseverance. Um, anyway, this obviously is, is something that we weren't anticipating, at least not earlier on in the budget process. I think it's come together a little quicker than maybe we had anticipated, uh, but obviously it's a rather significant um, um, issue or project to be presented before the town. So I guess now amongst the budget committee members, anybody would have any thoughts, pro or con, on the project and as why? Do you mind to ask Diane if she has any thoughts about, does she have anything to say? You know, yeah. stuff like that? Diane, do you, based on what you've heard thus far, do you have any comments you would like to make? Um, no, I, I mean, uh, not too many comments. I, I can agree with them on uh, the timing of trying to get outside funds and that the town has to move forward first. And also piecemealing projects together um, is very difficult and probably more costly in the end run. Um, so I have to trust that uh, this has been fully vetted um, by the committee and by the selectmen and also by our committee. So. Um, I'm willing to, to move forward on it. Okay. Thank you very much, Diane. I'm sure the magnitude of this ties in well with projects that you, uh, you know, pursued when you were at the school. Oh, absolutely. So I understand his, um, John's point about um, having to move forward and having, in good faith in many ways, 
and also guaranteeing that um, things won't move forward until the outside funding goals are met. So that, that was key to me to, to understand um, how this would move forward. Okay, thank you, Marcia. Any other questions or comments? In an effort to move this forward um, and get, get the discussion done, um, I'll make a motion that we approve Article Number 3. Is there a second? I'll that second one? that. Okay. Seconded by Diane. <coughs> okay. Discussion on the motion to approve Article 3 as presented. Dan. Uh, and this is for the, <clears throat> the taxpayers who may be watching this. Um, we already have three bridges. Two of them will, will carry uh, vehicular traffic and one uh, will, will handle walking traffic. I think the asking the taxpayer to uh, build another bridge is superfluous, and I would ask the taxpayers to uh, vote no on this for that. For that's for one of the reasons. Um, another reason is that the infrastructure, and by infrastructure I'm talking about the sewer and water mains uh, and storm drains. Those uh, any repair on those should be paid for by the people who are directly involved in the use of those, in other words, the users. And um, the people who don't use those should not have to pay for them, any taxpayers that don't use those. Um, when people who don't use those come into town and they go and, and um, go to the businesses and, and, and purchase things at those businesses, the cost that the businesses uh, undertake for the infrastructure will be passed on to us at that time, but but that should be a, a separate uh, um, that should be separated from this Riverside project. Um, uh, also, when it was talked about that the governor and the senators and all these people have bought into the plan. They bought into this plan without their money. Um, none, of the, none, of the, none of this money that's going in here is going to be out of their pockets. So it's real easy for people in places, in high places, to uh, spend other people's money. So for that reason, I would ask the taxpayers to, uh, to turn the project down. That's it. Any other discussion on the motion? Yeah. Dan, uh, excuse me. Uh, Eddie. Uh, I think the Article 2 and Article 3, which has to do with the bonds for Littleton, is explained to me in the last sentence of each of the articles. So tax impact of 2016 and 17 and Article 3 is the uh, River District, which is no tax impact in 2015, but it'll all be in 16 and 17. It's, the taxes are going to go up. It's just going to be postponed a year. Uh, yeah, and I feel that's too much to ask for two bonds of this size and the economic conditions of the town. I, 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 do, I do agree with the highway department that it needs to be done, but I don't agree with this has to be done at this time. I think it's too much. You may wind up with nothing. Okay. Fred, quick response. <clears throat> um, we did review our debt schedule at the uh, budget hearing last night. Um, it shows that we paid off the landfill and the ladder truck, uh, saving uh, nearly $300,000. Um, by implementing and adopting these two uh, debt instruments, um, it will bring us back almost even to where we uh, have been in the past few years. So the debt will not go down as much as you might like to see it, but it will not be going up either. It will be a relatively level uh, funded debt schedule uh, going into the future. I don't feel that people's incomes have increased enough to cover any additional debt. Any further discussion? I think this is really, I think this is an investment in the future and it does bring in new businesses. Um, the industrial park is a, a shining example of 
how we collectively have, um, you, um, I guess, developed property to attract other businesses. And I find that this is um, similar in nature. And so, therefore, I'm definitely in favor of moving forward on this. Um, I think it's outlined that they have to have so much um, outside funding before they'll move forward, but we have to show that we are willing to go and get behind this project. So, um, so that's my part of the discussion. Thank you, Diane. Any further discussion? Are we ready for a vote? And I guess be, seeing that Diane can't raise her hand, I'm going to ask for a voice vote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All those in, in favor of Scarla's motion uh, to approve Article 3 as presented, please say yes. 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 Twice. Twice. Dan? Any? Okay. Sorry. No's? No. Okay. So we have uh, three yeses. We have three no's. Which leads me to vote and I'm going to vote in the affirmative so uh, that'll be approved four to three. I appreciate everybody's comments uh, but I guess if I had to side with a, a sentiment related to this, Diane put it uh, very well, I, I think Littleton has a very good track record on this stuff and at some point in time we have to assert, have a certain amount of faith uh, that, uh, and obviously, you know, just faith that it's being presented correctly, because I'm sure that it is, but the other thing also that exists in Littleton, I mean, there will be oversight uh, on an annual basis, and uh, and this will not be the last that's heard of it. So, uh, um, you know, we tend to, to watch our projects once they develop and make sure that they adhere to the criteria under which they were presented. So, Diana, thank you very much. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. Um, Next article, Fred, was, is it appropriate to go to the town garage at this point in time? Or? Well, it, it's your uh, prerogative. Um, I, had, I had thought that, um, I know John was coming in, uh, I didn't know how you wanted to proceed. Uh, I guess, why don't we do that and then we'll do the operating budget when we get to Article 5? Does that make sense? Okay, if that's, unless, I mean, I'm open to whatever. We're, we're, we're on the, uh, the schedule now, so that, that makes sense to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Diane, you'll stay with us till five. Yes, I will. Okay, thank you very much. You can put your hand down now, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So next, Fred, then is going to be the town garage bond article. Town garage bond article is uh, essentially uh, the same project uh, that was envisioned last year. Um, it is a hundred thousand dollars up from the previous year. Uh, primarily due to uh, just ordinary cost of materials and, and uh, contractor increases, but also to uh, put a heated slab in the, in the floor of the garage. That's about a $48,000 add. Um, the DPW supervisor uh, traveled around to a number of other garages in New Hampshire and um, very similar design to what we're proposing. Uh, they have implemented that, the building and the, the heated slab, and have been very uh, happy with it. Uh, just last week, we also met with the um, pellet boiler uh, company, and they felt as though a heated slab uh, would be preferable uh, to, uh, as a heating method for that building, uh, rather than the current modines that are there. Um, it's a more even heat, the um, pellets uh, efficiency heats water at a slightly lower uh, heat level than propane or fuel oil, um, so that was that was part of that decision making. Um, the bond uh, only was missed by five votes last year, and um, we've had quite a bit of uh, positive uh, feedback that um, it would be a uh, second year might be a charm for this one. So. Uh, we hope you support that. I would move that the committee support it. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second it. I'll second it. Diane, you got beat out by Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, A, for effort. Okay. okay, any questions on that article? Any further explanation required? I was basically saying that we heard last year, and um, so any further information, comments? 
Well, I believe that, uh, you know, $1.3 million for that garage, it's kind of, you know, I bother with the people a little time they want to hear. Uh, being uh, a very, uh, uh, an advocate against the garage, against the new garage building, because, you know, money-wise, uh, I've been over there quite a few times, I look at it. I actually, you know, I wrote a letter in a little town car to let the people in the town that the garage is open to everybody. They can go in and look at it and make their own mind. $1.3 million for a garage that uh, probably, you know, with everything that's going on around, with all the trucks that they have, and me and Darren, we went to look at, and you see the trucks over there, they are no washer, they are full of salt, Anybody that knows a little bit about metal, metal is salt, they know, you know, they are like uh, water and fire. They don't go arm to arm. That doesn't mean, you know, to build this new garage and eventually end up with uh, some kind of uh, a really unhappy situation. It's to fix the garage, we got the property over there. We got the property on you right inside the garage that if they say that everything is compact inside there, which I saw, it is compact. All the trucks uh, look so like one on top of the other one. Mm -hmm. But they keep building something in the side. I, I'm going gonna, gonna to advocate, you know, it's uh, against, uh, you know, the, the, the new garage. Not just for that, also, you know, I got a paper over here that they was say last year, right, you know, one of the articles, about, you know, about the pellet burning, you know, that it would have strained out all the problem. It would have said a lot of money, stuff like that. Well, it's, just, well, it's written in, a, in a one article last year, and what it's actually happened, it's the opposite. It's the opposite because, you know, that particular pellet burning that we have right now, it's just 400,000 BTU. A 400,000 BTU is just for the fire station. Mm. Not like they say over here, it's written. They say that a particular project, it would have been for the fire station, the duty garage, and eventually, right over here, yeah. and eventually, police. For police station. To me, this over here, it's kind of, you know, I. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe because I come from another country, whatever. To me, to me, this over here, it's misleading. Mm -hmm. Because if I don't know anybody, and I got to go vote, mm -hmm. and I read this, mm -hmm. I vote yes. I say, oh, beautiful. I, I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but Dan, you, yeah, and, I you, were, see you and I were both on that committee, and, and our expectation was that that, that boiler system was going to be fine for both of those buildings, correct? For two. I mean, there's no, well, the two we were doing, okay, yeah, okay. right, but at least I'm for sorry. the two. I'm sorry. Yeah, not, no, no, at least. Not the police department, just the. Well, maybe, no, but they did talk about that too. But, well, but, I didn't write that. No, no, but yeah. the shortcoming on the existing facilities was not expected, and I'm, we must still be pursuing that, Fred. There's, there's something we there. We are, and I, I think the shortcoming is more of a um, misinterpretation than it is of actuality. I agree uh, with Fred. The, um, design of the pellet boiler it follows the 50-90 rule. Uh, it was designed to for 50 percent of the heating maximum heating load capacity for yeah. both of those buildings which meets 90 percent of the time that they need to be heated mm -hmm. and it's working to do that and saving the town quite a bit of money in the in the process. Do you have to have a backup system in both buildings? Absolutely. Um, the issue that we're having is that uh, the old fire department heating system is not designed to fit with the new pellet boiler design. Uh, yeah. And I mentioned the lower heating temperatures, yeah. so it's not kicking on the modines in the fire department as it should. The uh, cruise quarters are being heated fine, um, so part of the goal for next year is to uh, hire um, a mechanical engineering firm like Yetton to look at the fire department uh, mechanicals to try and work that out. And it may be as simple as some valving, uh, it may be as simple as switching out the uh, actual oil-fired burner unit with a propane unit for the fire department. Um, we may need to replace those old coil fan heaters with some modern heaters that 
um, can handle the lower temperature. So, um, but um, I, the meeting that we were at last week um, pretty much confirmed, and we hired a consultant, uh, Wood um, Council consultant that came in from New York to look at it, and he confirmed that it is working as designed. Okay. Well, we won't. Yeah. I appreciate that. There'll be more. There'll be more discussion. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to go on record as saying I, I agree with Fred what he said. So. Okay. Okay. Any further discussion on before we vote on Article Two? Yes. Yes. Um, for the tax, the homeowners and uh, business owners who are taxpayers are watching this, listening. Um, as a member of the Energy Conservation Committee, we took on the job of uh, looking at the present garage and um, insulating it so that it would be um, comfortable to work and, and uh, to work in that in that garage. Had we been able to insulate it, we wouldn't be talking about um, a bigger garage or anything like that. We would uh, we'd be having the same garage, but insulated. It was determined that the it would be dangerous to insulate it because the snow load on the roof, if it isn't melted and gone off, would uh, possibly collapse the roof. So I want that understood that if we had been able to insulate it, we would have the garage that we have today, but insulated. So we, it was suggested that uh, we're going to have to replace it. But one of, the, one of the options that you weren't given as a taxpayer is a direct replacement. This replacement is bigger. Um, that's something that you should have been offered. You should have been offered a direct replacement and, you, and I don't care how big they would have uh, offered you uh, also, but you, you, you weren't given options that you should have been given. And for that reason, uh, I can't uh, vote on this as, uh, as going forward with it. I'm against it. Okay. Any other discussion? Okay. I guess we'll call for a vote, vote on uh, the motion by Skyler to support Article 2, the town garage bond article. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Diane, you're with us, yes? I still am, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so all those in favor of the of Article 2, please signify by saying aye. 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 Three. Okay. okay. Diane, your I'm vote? In favor, yes. Yes, okay, four. Yeah. In okay. favor. Okay, and all those opposed? Opposed. Okay, so the motion passes. Four to two. Okay. Next, Fred. Well, are we uh, following tradition and skipping over any non-monetary items? We should. Okay. So I think we're down to Article Five. What What I'm following is uh, yeah, everyone. I think has the big sheet uh, that I handed out. <coughs> it's relatively easy to follow. <coughs> so that puts us to our proposed um, operating budget. Uh, as we left the budget committee uh, in December, uh, I think we were charged with cutting $170,000 or something like that. Um, the staff did go back and made a number of cuts, and I just asked Karen to uh, quantify that for the budget committee at this time. Well, we met with the uh, selectmen on December 29th. And at that time, between Fred and the department heads and myself reviewing the budget, we'd actually reduced the budget by $167,000. Um, that was taking out several different things um, that we had put in immediate, uh, at one time uh, in the proposed budget. Um, some of those items included the things you recommended, such as the positions, um, the part-time position in the police department, the admin assistant in the fire department was removed, uh, the library full-time employee was removed, we removed um, half of the sign-on bonuses for the police department, we reduced 
uh, some of the other items that we had increased in the proposed budget. Some items got eliminated completely. Some items were uh, cut in half. Um, additionally, we deduct or we reduced what we were going to do with some of the highway and pavement maintenance and roads that we had added to the budget by ten thousand uh, dollars. We had uh, received one of our contracts that we had estimated an increase in, and that was uh, come in at uh, twenty five hundred dollars less. Well, we went back and looked again. And, these, and uh, January 5th, we had another meeting with the selectmen, and at that time, we'd come back with another uh, $22,620 in cuts. So we had cut out, as of January 5th, $190,238 from what was proposed to you last. So we did take a look at the budget. We did cut out the Jaws of Life. We purchased them this year. Um, we cut out the um, UPRs. We cut out um, the chairs that were in the police department. So there was quite a few. Even though some were small, they all added up. Um, we did take a look at our revenues again. We did find in the transfer station that uh, some of the revenues we're coming in more than what we had anticipated, so we did bump up the revenues for the transfer station, $5,000. So those were some of the things that were done. And in this budget that you now have, from last night's meeting, the only change that went into this budget was $15,000 for the uh, Chamber of Commerce. There was a... Um, there normally is a petition warrant article. Uh, there was some technical difficulty with it, so discussion last night was to try to include this into the proposed budget only. If the default budget is voted in, they do not get anything. If the proposed budget is voted in, then they would be getting their 15000 but it's only a one-time item. We did the same thing back in 2007. We had a uh, petition warrant article that didn't make it in time. Similar situation, technical difficulties. Um, and we had added that uh, entity, which was YMCA, into our operating budget, and it was amended at the deliberative session to add that in. So even with the 15 added in last night, you still met what we asked. Mm -hmm. And more. And 5,000 more approximately. We do still have the warrant on here for the additional staff at the police department. Yeah, I know that. Right. Yeah. The other thing is, how much did the jaws of life, you removed that, um, and how much was that for? That was $6,000. There. I think I would um, ask that that be put back in or amended. Um, that is a critical piece um, for people surviving uh, we, certain accidents. Yeah. We actually so already I, bought it. Diane. Bought it. You, you actually bought it? Okay. Yes, we yeah. bought it in 2014. It was such an important piece of equipment and feeling that we already knew that they needed this and it might save someone's life, it became a priority. Okay, great. Thank you. Based on doing what we, we asked, um, I will move that the budget committee recommend the budget. Okay. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second it. Okay. Is there any further discussion? And just for your discussion on the reverse side of the big sheet that I, you have, yeah. if you put that over, <clears throat> it's a one page summary of the budget which follows the 32 page. Uh, detailed budget that um, you typically receive and, and should have in your. Uh, Don't confuse us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, according to you know, to the budget, if it's approved, what it will be, you know, the final. Or oh, we still gotta wait for this call. The final tax input. 
to the pit. Well, and that's that's an. I mean, we, we can we can talk to that. Um, if you go back to your warrant article uh, mm -hmm. sheet at the very bottom, yes. Okay, um, working up from the bottom. Yes. Uh, last year, your approved warrant articles, if you follow that over to the right, yeah. equaled about seventy-eight cents. The operating budget was six dollars and forty-four cents. Okay. Uh, now, if you go up a couple of lines, you'll see the 2015 default budget, uh, and go over to the right-hand side, that's $6.36. One line up, 2015 proposed budget is $6.56, so it's 20 cents over the default. Uh, and the next line up, if all of the Warren articles get passed, um, that's uh, $0.98. Cents. Um, I will caution the budget committee and the voters, uh, this is a reval year, okay? Right, yeah, so <coughs> we have uh, about $769 million in taxable valuation. However, the DERA, Department of Revenue Administration, has said we're about 6% overvalued. So if you take 6% off that $769 million, it drops our total taxable uh, value down to about 223 million. Okay? No, 723. 723, thank you. Okay, 723. Um, just that difference adds 40 cents on the tax rate. Yeah, tax, yeah. On the tax rate. But if everything stayed the same, your tax bill would stay the no. same. Now, Fred, we're, when we talked previously, were we talking a tax rate of 741 or 742? That's right. <clears throat> We may have. Um, that's that's with all the overlays and uh, exemptions yeah. included, and that I haven't included that here because that's something that the selectmen decide in the fall. Because yeah, I think, what, the, am I right in saying though the number we were looking at was either seven forty one or seven forty two, which we had asked to yeah. maintain the same. So, you know, with you, with, with you just said, I mean, I, I, if I, everybody's I, property went down in value by six percent. The tax bill would, and well, and the budget stayed the same. But the tax bill would stay the same, but what? But obviously, they won't go down evenly. So somebody could have a greater or lower tax bill based on that. Balance. But your tax rate will likely change dramatically. Well, well yes, if, yeah. Although, if if the reval trends with what DRA is saying, we're six percent overvalued. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I got the about two weeks ago paper. And you know the number of continuing to time budget, and the time tax rate at seven point seven three percent. That's what I got. Seven point seven three. And that's since that time we've gone and looked and said, we're not. We can't compare apples to oranges. Next year we're going to have a completely different total valuation number, and that's what everything is derived from. So I, I'd be misleading to say it's going to be this amount. I've, I determined that the best comparison is to compare last year's spending on the operating budget and the warrant articles with what is projected for this year using this year, using last year's valuation and keeping it constant into uh, 2015. Now you, as a panel manager, don't you think if the people are reading the newspaper right here you know, if they read this, this numbers, they're going to have a, a really bad perception about what's going on in town because it's 7.73% between, you know, the two big entities that they are, the garage at the river district, you know, it's a wow. No, we're not going to pay for that. Anyway, Bob, it's, it's, it's a challenge, but I think we're doing as good a job as no, we can no, I, you know, to explain it. I mean, he, he understands what I'm trying to say, because the people who read the paper, you know what I mean? Diane yeah. And, uh, yeah. Diane, are you, uh, are you still with us? I am. I'm, I will stay with you on uh, to the vote of this, this okay. article. Okay, and that will be it. Okay. So, there's no further discussion? No, no. Dan? Yes. Not a big dissertation, though. <laughs> It's going to take as much time as it takes. Sorry, Diane. No, mm -hmm. um, oh, that's fine. Go ahead. One of the things, uh, we mentioned the $15,000 for the Chamber of Commerce. I complained about this last year, and I'm going to complain about it this year. The Chamber of Commerce is a business organization. The businesses in town that belong to the Chamber of Commerce 
should be floating any bills that they have. We should not be, the, the homeowners should not be uh, paying for the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, it was said that the Chamber of Commerce got some sort of a, a deal so that they could get on the ballot this year. Uh, I want to know, would a, would a regular citizen have gotten that same kind of deal if their warrant article had been a little flummoxed and uh, it didn't come up to par? Would the town have said, oh, okay, well, what we'll do is we'll make it so that your, your warrant article will, will be uh, on the ballot? But Dan, you know, when you talk about, I mean, you're right in what you're saying, obviously, about businesses benefiting most directly. But even within the business community, there are certain businesses that benefit more directly than others. There's a lot of businesses that support the Chamber of Commerce who don't benefit anywhere near directly that, from it. That isn't the taxpayers. No, no, no. But they, choose, but they, no, no. Yeah, but they choose to do it because they know that by supporting that core effort that it benefits the whole community. Who so, chooses I mean, to do it? A lot of, there are a lot of businesses, who, I mean, the ones obviously who are Main Street are the ones who are going to benefit the most from this, okay? But if so-and-so's gas station on whatever street contributes to the Chamber of Commerce, you know, they're not going to receive the most direct benefit as a restaurant or a clothing store. So I'm just saying that within the business community, there are businesses in the community that support the Chamber, even though they know that their business doesn't get benefited directly that's from a, it. That's a straw man argument. It has nothing to do with the homeowner. We're asking the homeowner to pay for this, and that's right. wrong. But the point I'm trying to make, Dan, is that, no, I, that I, just, they, I mean, I, the homeowner is an indirect beneficiary. And the as homeowner I, will pay, if, if, if the business is paid for this and it costs the business yeah. money, they yeah. pass that on to the consumer. That's the way it is. I, I don't mind that. I'm, I'm just complaining that the this is a business organization. It is not up to the homeowners to... to uh, keep this afloat. I know, but so I, that's I, it. I mean, I think it, I'm making the rational argument here. I'm just telling you that there are people within the business community who support the chamber who do not benefit any more that, than the homeowner does. That's that's a straw man argument. It has nothing to straw, do with what I'm talking about. It's a straw man? Straw man argument. As in when you put a match to the straw man and you burn it? No, or? no. It's, it's, it's uh, uh, bringing something in to, uh, to argue that has nothing to do with the point. No, no, but it does have to do no, with the point. No, no, it does not. Okay. Uh, can we just drop that? Okay. Anyway. So, uh, and I want, I want the homeowners to realize this. And uh, again, I asked if an ordinary citizen who is trying to get a warrant, would they have been given the favoritism that was uh, given to this organization? I wouldn't call it favoritism as much as I would call it consideration. Well, I, I, okay, whatever you want to call it, would, would, would Joe Blow coming off the street with a warrant that didn't quite pass the way the Chambers did, would Joe Blow have been given the same uh, consideration? Consideration. I would say yes. Okay, I, I would hope so. Um, let's see, so we're talking here. Budget. Yeah. Okay, I think that's okay. that's all on that. Any Let's other see. questions before we vote on Article Five? Okay, Diane, thank you for staying with us. I'm going to ask for a vote. All those in favor Wait, of before you ask for the vote, uh, say what it is that we're voting on. We are voting on for vote on Article Five, which is the the, the town budget as approved by the. Selectman and the Budget Committee. That's the proposed budget. budget. The proposed budget. Okay. All those in favor of Article 5, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Opposed. Okay. So we have uh, five in favor, one against. Okay. Diane, we thank you very much for your efforts today and we thank you for your season. Thank you. And I, I want to thank all the members of the committee and also uh, the select board and the school board for all the work that they put into this. Um, it's it's a laborious effort, and uh, we all have the best interests of the community at heart. Thank you. Thank you Thank much. You, Our best to Tom. Thanks. I will. Yeah. Bye bye now. Bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Next, Fred. Okay. <clears throat> um, 
Next uh, article is Article 6, Sale of Town Property. Uh, there is no fiscal impact, so uh, we'll skip that. Uh, Article 7, Dell's Dam. Uh, in 2012, two warrant articles were approved uh, to study uh, the Dell's Dam and to replace the uh, Dell's Road culvert. Uh, we have been studying it since then, and our consultant has come back to us and said, um, we're not really sure the culvert needs to be replaced, and we don't think you need to uh, remove the dam, as was the previous concern. Um, if you can permit and design, design and permit a um, increase in the height of the top of the dam, uh, then it should pass muster with New Hampshire DES. The pond can stay, uh, the kids can fish, and you can continue to have that as a, a nice park area. Um, so the intent of this article is to not raise any new money, but to reallocate those two previous appropriations uh, to the design, permitting, and hopeful uh, reconstruction of the uh, of the Dells Dam. Okay. So moved. Is there a second? Second. No new money, no tax impact. No. We'll say that. It's reallocation. Okay. okay. That's not true. That's not true to no tax impact. Do, do I can speak up? Speak, yes. Okay. Why? You know, I don't understand why you say it's not tax impact. I'm reading it. Oh, are you really wrong? Because to do whatever the town manager explained, you need the money. And I have an article over here, you know, that uh, about the Delta. I mean, uh, the Delta it's a beautiful park, you know, 3.6 acres. It was built in 1936. It's not. But from 1936 to now, and you guys must have heard us, especially the chairman of the salesman, because it's always in contact with the, the chief of police. The Dell Dam right now, on this particular day, is considered a, a drug heaven. A drug heaven. Drug heaven. That is the mean. Whatever drug goes around the town is done on a promises of the Dell Dam. Okay. But, but, but regardless of what we do here or don't do here, it's not going to affect the drug issue. No, 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 no. I mean, just say, you know, why we got to spend, if I'm correct, you say $170,000 to raise stuff like that? Well, we, we have to spend money to address the situation. What Fred explained is the situation has changed now, so we're taking a different direction and how we're going to address it. Am I fair in saying that, Fred? I think so, yes. And, and it's the same amount of money, so it's just a real allocation of the same money that was approved before. Yeah. Hey, you're the chairman, and I respect you for that. Yeah. But when you address something, you got to address all the issues. Yeah. Okay? Now, you don't want to address this yeah. issue over here? Because by fixing the deal, then with the amount of money, what are you going to make? You're going to make a paradise for people that go over there and do whatever they want. Okay? I, I don't I'm not gonna say I know all of this but no, I don't, you don't I don't, know, I, you don't I, know about that. I don't uh, think I don't think it's gonna change that situation. No. I, the issue with the dam had to do with downstream flooding in parts. So and, and the town had approved this before. That's why the money is just being reallocated. The, the voters had already approved this. Mr. Chairman, I'm talking about money right well, now. I just I understand what you're talking about, Rudy. Yeah. I know what that is. I'm not talking about money. Right yeah, I understand. Yeah. But whatever that situation, I don't think we can address that situation by our vote here today. Oh. That's going to be a, that's a bigger issue, <laughs> I don't know, no puns here, but it, it's, you know, it's going to have to be decided in a different venue than this. I mean, the, what we're deciding here, this is an issue that's been identified and the only thing that's changed now is that the evaluation of that situation has changed and we're going to address it in a different situation, different way, but we still have to address it. Okay. I agree. Eddie? Just, I don't know, but Rudy brings me up a question. 
It says in this article at the very end, no tax impact. Yeah. I understand. It comes from two previous articles which would total $174,285. Is that money sitting in our account now or we have to raise it by taxes? It's setting in encumbered funds. Not It does not need to be raised by taxes. It's already been raised by taxes two years ago. And we've been hanging on to the money while the study and the state's been involved gets completed. So it's been encumbered. It's been encumbered. Okay, so can I call for a vote? No, not yet. Why not? Because I want to speak on the issue. Okay, but we then we have a ton of stuff we got to get through here, and I I mean I don't mind the comments, but we you know, we. I'm I'm talking to the, yeah. the audience right there. Yeah, well, but please be brief. Make your point, and I'll be as brief as I can. Okay. Um. Uh, the <coughs> the pond. Uh, they're talking about using it for kids for fishing. We have a lake, uh, uh, more dam, where fishing is allowed. Uh, a little dam like this, a little pond like this, uh, there was a, the, a com it was said that it was possible that there could be flooding downstream if it, if it ever broke through. So they're going to try to um, uh, patch it. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at costs later on for, for who knows what. I think they ought to uh, let it just go out, take that money, and use it uh, to reduce the taxes or, or anything else. But um, we already have a lake. The users aren't paying for, uh, for using that piece of property. Uh, it's, a, it's a problem waiting to happen. So I think you should uh, vote it down. Any other comments? Okay, we'd like to call for a vote on Article 7. All, and we can do a hand vote now if you want. All those in favor of Article 7, please raise your hands. All those opposed to Article 7? So Three to two. Three to two. Next, Fred. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Article eight is a non-monetary uh, housekeeping item. Article nine is the fire department self-contained breathing apparatus refill compressor uh, and equipment. Uh, Thirteen thousand two hundred ninety-nine dollars uh, will be uh, used as a match money as match money for a federal uh, grant. I'm not sure the amount of that grant, federal grant has been fully determined yet, um, but this has been uh, noted as our share. Um, our current SCBA refill compressor is old and uh, does not meet current codes. Um, the selectmen have determined that it's such a high priority they would um, use uh, fund balance monies uh, to, to come up with the uh, match amount so that there would be no tax impact uh, for this article. I move it. A second? Second. Second. Rudy? This is eight, Fred, is that right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. No. No, nine. 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 You're not, your lines are throwing me off. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have proofed the lines first. Yeah, go yeah, this just, one here. It was what I, I did it five minutes before I walked out the door. Yeah. Okay. No, no. I mean, I'm not saying I would have done any better. I just want to make sure I'm on the right line. Okay. Any any discussion on that? Yeah. I'm going to vote no on it, not because uh, uh, I want to see people not having safe equipment, but, uh, but I believe that fire departments uh, should be privately owned and then the cost wouldn't be passed on to the um, to the taxpayer would be to the user okay any other comments all those in favor of article 9 hand vote okay four in favor against okay so that passes four to one next red article 10 uh, establish a capital reserve fund uh, and take the money from the Conservation Commission unexpended fund balance. Um, this may uh, benefit by looking at the uh, the detailed um, 
what has, has happened is since 1994, uh, this fund has uh, accrued additional monies. Uh, it was just in 2014 that the town auditors came forward and said, you know, you really didn't do this right, correct, didn't do this correctly back in 1994. So we recommend that you um, set up the fund properly. Uh, okay. Because regularly, they get a small amount of money a year, 2500 oftentimes which they haven't spent it. Yes. And several years ago, we authorized them to keep that money should anything of a larger scope arise. So you're saying we're just addressing that just to make it, That's it. more official, if you would, or done correctly? Yes. Okay. Is everybody okay on understanding that? Is, uh, you said they were getting $2,500 or something? A year. A year uh, roughly from, was it, from where? From the town of Littleton. From the taxpayer? Right, from the taxpayer, which mo in many cases they didn't expend fully, or maybe in some cases didn't expend at all. But it did come from the taxpayer. It did come from the taxpayer. Okay. And so they've had this fund, it's been accumulating money, but apparently there were some issues with how it was set up, so now we're setting it up correctly. Right? May I ask, what are they using the money for? The conservation. Well, the conservation commission will determine that. But if there is a with key piece of land, with your permission, and with this permission, well, who's the authorization on that? Conservation the, commission. So yes. they can they can spend yeah. it themselves. Okay. Um, if a particular piece of property, a uh, significant piece of property, becomes available, uh, then they have the right to purchase that or purchase development rights. Um, there are a number of things. Without your consent. That's the money has been placed in their trust. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the Conservation Commission has a larger role today than they used to have, potentially a larger role. If some things yeah. occur, I mean, in the whole Meadow Street development, they were instrumental in that. What so, did they do there? Well, they have to oversee it in terms of conservation issues and make sure that they're addressed when development happens so that you don't have a large downside to a project once it's completed. That's good. Are you, uh, when you say that, are you talking about um, if a landowner owns their land, the Conservation Commission can come in there and tell them how they can use their land or not use their land? Well, I'm going to overstep here, but I mean, certainly if somebody was looking to buy their land and had a project for that land to be presented in front of the little town in front of Littleton that was going to involve environmental impact, they would have a say on it. Is that fair? Is that a fair evaluation? They also sometimes act as watchdogs for for homeowners that are violating state statutes, uh, such as wetlands. So you're, what you're saying then is if a person owns a piece of property, the state can come in and tell them what to do with their property? Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't agree with yeah, that. Yeah, I, I wanted, I dug a pond. I had to go get a state permit. Even though you owned it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I don't agree with that. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can we have a vote on, uh, well, actually, we have a number ten. We didn't have. Do we have a motion? So no. <laughs> and a second on Article second. Ten. Second. Who do you use in there? Okay. All those in favor by hand vote of Article Ten. All those opposed. Passes three to two. Article Eleven. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Fire Department Capital Reserve Fund Vehicle Purchase, fifty thousand dollars. <coughs> um, Engine six is uh, getting old and tired. Um, will need to be replaced <clears throat> in not too many uh, years. Uh, fire department also uh, retired their uh, pickup truck uh, a year or so ago. Um, so the purpose of this fund is to set money aside for the replacement of engine six. And um, if a good used uh, pickup truck type vehicle becomes available through state surplus or military surplus, um, then there would be some funds available to uh, be able to buy that one of those vehicles. Okay. Now, does this relate to the forest fire proposal that we had? Well, you may need to uh, get details from the chief. Um, what they, I think they are looking to get a four-wheel drive truck that would be able to take manpower and equipment on some of the back roads to assist in, in remote firefighting uh, that the larger trucks could not access. But the, the, the initial proposal has disappeared? I think so. Yeah, okay. So this year, this is just a general adding of funds to 
a capital reserve fund. It's to establish, establish, the establish and reserve fund. to it. Eddie? Uh, you may wonder why I vote against the last one. I vote against this one too. Uh, the reason why I do is because it says down there, you're going to name the agents, you're going to name the people, uh, agents to expend these funds as they see fit at any yeah. time. And, and, and it says in here very, very plainly, this is for new or used fire department vehicles. So it could be for anything. I think it should be a vote of the people to spend it. That's all. Okay, so it isn't establishing it so much as it is how it's expended. How it's spent. Well, it's, it says in here to name the selectmen on this one. I know. Okay. I think the board should have that say. Okay. Do, if an emergency arise, do they can spend this capital fund as something else, or they gotta wait? No, you for oh no, it has to be spent on fire vehicles. We have fire vehicles, any fire vehicle, whatever. Yeah, it's limited to fire vehicles. It's enough for that particular engine number three. No, Those not necessarily. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. It is number three, not number six. Oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> Oh. We'll, we'll change that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, you've been killing this guy, right? It's three. It's three? It's a three. I don't know. How do you say three in Italian? Tre. Tre. Numero tre. <laughs> okay. We're on number 11. Do you want a motion? Yes. So move. So move. Second on motion on uh, Article 11? Second. Okay. Okay. Any further discussion on 11? Okay. All those in favor of Article 11, please raise your hands. All those opposed? Because it raised taxes, I'm opposed. Okay, so it's one in favor, four against. Yes. Wow. Hey, Joe, I vote yes. <laughs> okay. Article 12, Police Department, cruiser purchase. Uh, $37,500 uh, to be offset with $20,000 from the fund balance thereby resulting in a $17,500 tax impact or uh, 2.3 cents on the tax rate. Uh, basically this is the annual uh, replacement cruiser that uh, had previously been in the operating budget. And there's only one cruiser to be replaced this year? Correct. Originally was there two? No. No. Last year. Last year. Last year. Last year. Let's move it. Okay. Skyline motion seconded. Second. Rudy. Any further discussion on that, Dan? Yes, because uh, I believe that police department should be privately owned, um, and it's going to be a tax increase. I'm going to vote no. Any further discussion on the police cruiser? I, I just want to ask you something for my own personal thing. Do we ever hear? We, you know, we're going to buy a new cruise every year. It's like the next year. Well, we're still getting caught up from several years of, yeah. of not buying a new cruiser. I believe the police chief is here, and he could answer that perhaps more effectively than yeah. I. Mr. Chief, every year we're going to have a new cruise. We got to get a new, new car. Get two every year. Wow. So we replace the the vehicle that needs uh, replacement, the probably the one that costs the most in repair, and uh, and replace it with a with a newer vehicle so um, this year uh, we just got done auctioning off our our charger um, and we'll do the same next year or we might even try to get do a, a trade or this year this coming year I'm sorry 2015 we'll try to they might take it in trade because it's a it has a hemi engine if you don't mind me asking how many cruise do you got we have five Five. Doesn't mean that. Uh, doesn't mean every year, after five years, you're going to have a, a new cruise. I mean, the oldest one in your cruise, it will be, will be ideal, some time at five years because you got That would be ideal, yes. Yeah. After five years, you. you know, our oldest, ideally, our oldest vehicle would be five years Five years old, that's, that's correct. Okay. okay. Any okay. further discussion on. Okay. Uh, by hand vote, all those in favor of Article 12. All those opposed. It passes four to one. 
cruiser safety equipment, which I take it is to do with setting up the new cruiser? Setting up the cruiser and, and for the officers, uh, uh, the money comes out of the special detail uh, fund, so there is no tax impact. Okay. Question. Uh, well, first, can I have a motion, Skylar? Yes? Motion. Second. Second. Okay. Dan? If that, um, I can't remember exactly the, how you, there's, there's a fund there. If that fund is drawn down to zero, what happens? It's still allowed to stay open because it could be added to every year, depending on what we have for special detail and what we expend. Where does, where does the money come from that goes into that? Uh, when one of our officers is asked to do outside detail, which is, say, a construction company needing someone to do some policing or have their vehicle there with an officer there to protect them, um, we charge out for that. And the money comes in and goes into the revenue of that fund. The expenses come out of that fund, and whatever's left goes to the fund balance, so, the special revenue fund balance. So would it be safe to say that there's no tax money in there at all? It's all... It's all okay. from this... It was last, last summer when they do the construction down here, right. there was a little she, police cruiser there every morning. She yeah. explained it. That's fine. Okay. Hey, can I have a vote on uh, Article 13? All those in favor? Nope. Okay, so five nothing. Police Department Detective Patrol, patrol Officer, nine months. Uh, this uh, position was uh, requested uh, by many people in town uh, due to some of the drug and other issues that have uh, come up. Uh, police department is down uh, at least three uh, officers since the budget cuts of 2010-11. Uh, this is a replacement of uh, one additional patrol officer, which will then uh, allow one of the current patrol officers to devote full time towards detective work. Uh, $63,857 uh, would be 8.3 cents on the tax rate. Move it. So basically, though, it's a hundred. It'll very quickly be a hundred thousand uh, dollar expenditure. It was eighty-two. Wasn't it, 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 eighty-nine. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. Oh, eighty-five. Wait a second here. Including right. benefits. Yes. Yeah. So move. Second. Any discussion? Yes. Our our drug problem is. Um, God, I was trying to think of the word for this as I was writing this. It's. It's manufactured. Um, we have people with vices, and uh, and everyone, every person in this room, every person in this world has got a vice. But for some reason, certain vices have been uh, uh, made to be illegal by people who have their own vices. Uh, so this is a manufactured uh, problem. What we need to do is to do away with the, uh, the, um, these wars that we have on poverty and, and, and uh, drugs. There's, there's no such thing as a war on, on drugs. Um, it's a war on a vice that, that certain people with vices have said is illegal. Well, we've all got vices, so uh, I see it as manufactured and, and I will not vote for it. Mr. Chairman, can I respond to that? Sure, Paul. I, I respect your, your opinion on that, Dan, but it's only a small part of what a detective does. We're talking about other major crimes. I don't believe sexual assault, specifically on children, is a vice. I believe that. I didn't is, say it was but, a vice. But a detective, it goes beyond just drugs. Well, you, it goes you into insinuated major, that I was uh, no, no, causing but I something make like some, that as a I want to make something vice. clear here. This is not just about drugs. It assists. It will assist with the drug issue. You have your opinion on that, whether it's created outside our community or not, but we have a responsibility to keep this community safe. Drugs are an issue here, but this position is beyond drugs. It's about investigating lengthy crimes, embezzlements, fraud, uh, sexual assaults. Those cases take an extremely long time to investigate and a lot of, per, a lot of personnel, a lot of hours. 
We need an individual within this community that has additional training and can really focus and have emphasis specifically to investigating those to do the victims justice. That's what this is all about. This isn't about just our war on drugs or whether the government made something illegal or not. It's about keeping you safe and, your, and the citizens of this community safe. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. I'd like to respond to that. I'm going to that, Dan, but we... I'd like we're, to... We, I know, but Dan, I'd like to respond to you that. You know, but Dan, you had your comment, Paul had his comment, and we're, we need to go to a vote, okay? Okay, uh, Article 14, all those in favor, raise your hands. All those opposed? The motion is defeated, three to two. Highway Department F550 plow truck. That's, this is the one, I think it was one of the items that we recommended previously and we recommended that it be funded on a three year uh, fashion which is what's being Correct. presented. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I mean if you don't respond to this I'm just going to put my coat on and leave. Yeah. You as a chairman, okay, you got an obligation towards the people a little time. Okay, now they hold the chef make the presentation, which I respect 100%. Even if I bought it, no, I'm not under the dead, but I respect the people. You got people that want to respond, that want to make sure that the people that are going to watch Channel 2 tomorrow, yeah. right, that Eventually, we are on a budget committee for this month. We're talking about money. Yeah, but, but I know. But no, no, you, 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 me, talking about, you, you, you call a M up okay. and you call me up, and no, that's not no. the way you run the show, brother. I'm not trying to cut anybody off, but Dan had his say, uh, Paul had his say. About us, we, we are not. Uh, no, I asked nobody else. No, I no, no. You just to say that we got no time. Well, like I that. mean, that's I mean, not the way you run I mean, the show, man. Well, I mean, Rudy. Okay, as a matter of practice, we give due diligence to virtually everything the whole season. But we have 25 minutes here that we're going to go through 20 articles, most of many of which we've already discussed. Okay, and it's just, it's just that this is not necessarily the venue for that. It's I not mean, confrontation. It's no, 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 it's not confrontation, but it's time consuming. It and is the question time is whether consuming this, people. This, for you, it's a time consuming. For people, it's money that they got to dig inside the pocket. Yeah. to pay for t certain things. If they want to know why, they should vote yes, if they should vote no. They want to reason. It's it. You say no, okay. You're the chairman. Do whatever you got to do. It, it. Okay. it got defeated, so I mean... Oh. I mean I, regardless of that. But people, they want to know why it was defeated. Yeah. It's it. By our discussion, I mean, I yeah. have the discussion okay. with the chief but tomorrow they're, they're, in his office. They're going to hear Dan's time. position, they're going to hear Paul's oh. response. Okay? All right. I mean, Keep it going. Okay, highway department plow truck, Fred. Uh, replacement for one of the older uh, trucks, yeah. uh, seventy-nine thousand five hundred for the trial plug and plow and equipment. Uh, Three-year finance would raise and appropriate twenty-seven thousand four hundred in the first year, or three point six cents on the tax rate. Okay, no. So move. I mean, uh, no, Fred. Actually, I think this is one where we actually voted previously, but we want to take another. I think you did vote to yeah. support the the loan yeah. approach. Yes. Yes, and we are, and also we voted on the uh, excavator trailer. The excavator. It was the same. Yep. Was the same thing. So yep. that was just to do the loan, as opposed to asking oh, for the whole thing. Loan on yeah. You're talking about something else. No, no, no. We 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 voted. This is the Warren article. You're talking about what was not a Warren article. Yes, it was. Uh, we we voted to support the purchase, but not to purchase in one year. Right. We've I have the notes that yeah. I took, yeah. and I right. said, recommend the selectmen do three-year financing on vehicles in Warren articles as the rate is are so low, and this would ease the burden on the taxpayers having come up, having come in, having to come up with all the money at once. The vote was four to three, with Steve making a deciding vote. It was three to three because at that time Skyler had left and you made the deciding mm -hmm. vote. Move the motion. Is that was that voted last year? This was voted on, no. uh, I think it was uh, around December 18th. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, she's right. Yeah. So I'm just, was, I'm just asking whether we need to actually... That being discussed. Right. We still have to vote on this, though. Well, that was just the method of payment. Now we have to decide... Yeah. If, well, if, I, I that was a recommendation yeah. to the selectmen on how to do it. Yeah. Now we're voting on it. Yes, yes or not. Okay. So, Skyler, we have a motion on 15? We do. We do. We have a second? Yes, we do. Second. We, okay. Discussion on 15. Because it's a, um, it's going to increase the taxes. I'm going to vote against it. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor of 15, please raise your hand. All those opposed? Passes three to two. Capital Reserve Fund to be targeted to the future construction of a salt shed. The. Uh Approximate cost for a uh, canvas type cover uh, salt shed is 65000 with concrete block uh, perimeter foundation. Uh, felt as though that that was a, a large number to raise in one year, especially with the uh, highway garage bond and the other equipment. Um, but the benefits of having a, a dedicated larger salt shed uh, are uh, several. Um, one is that you can purchase off-season uh, at a lower cost, you can transport in a larger vehicle, saving money, and as we just saw with back-to-back -back, uh, ice storms, um, we would have uh, salt in reserve. Uh, yesterday we were down to uh, basically a few wheelbarrow loads uh, until the emergency uh, truck delivery came. Okay. So uh, twenty thousand uh, would be, would come out of the fund balance uh, and would not have any tax impact in two thousand fifteen. So moved. Second. Second. Okay. Discussion, Dan. Yes. Uh, where does the money come from that uh, fills in this unde undesignated, unreserved fund balance? It's either money that we received extra revenue since the tax rate has been set or money that we have not expended that ends up going to like a net gain in our fund balance instead of being called profit it's called fund balance yes but, for towns but so where it's, where does that money originally come from taxpayers well it's come from taxpayers or other revenue that we've received okay. or from saving money on the expense side but, but the expense side would be from taxpayers of having put it in. Okay, yes. thank you. I will then, even though it says no tax impact, I will vote against it because uh, once it's uh, pulled down, it will be filled up again with tax money. So that's why I'll vote against it. I, had a, I, had, I have a question for the town manager. Do the $20,000, let's say we vote yes, okay, you know, this particular thing. That twenty thousand dollars is start to build the shade or, or what? No, it'll just be put in reserve until we have enough to, to build sixty-five thousand in a year to build or two. It. All right, thank you. One other comment: um, it was mentioned that if they um, don't tear down the uh, present the, garage, the, the cult, the, that it could be used as a um, shed for some. You know, like salt or whatever. So that's another thing. Okay. 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 Uh, no further discussion. Uh, we have a motion on 16. All those in favor, please raise your hands. All those opposed, passes 4 to 1. What was the vote on number 14? Uh, so yes, you, 3, no, 2. No. no. Oh, yes, yes, 2, yes, no, 3. 12, 14, no. yeah, sorry. Highway Department used excavated trail. This is, again, this is one of the other ones that we recommended a three-year purchase. And the pro to this was that um, I think George is determined to have be able to have two man two a two man work crew as opposed to a four man work crew on a site, and he feels that this will enable him to do two jobs at the same time as opposed to just one job as he was doing previously. Move it. Second. Further discussion? Because it's going to be a tax increase to the homeowners and businesses, I'm going to be voting against it. Okay. okay. Do they oh, do oh. they gonna do they gonna send the people to school to 
Tolor na rito yo se des machine o they have a more ready in the garage. I mean you know they, they, they have tra trained people now they can operate it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It doesn't take that much to learn. Huh? All right. I just ask. Okay. okay. All those in favor of 17 please raise your hands. All those opposed? Three Passes two. 3 to 2. Church Street and other retaining wall construction. Fred. Well, we have a number of uh, retaining walls in this town uh, in deteriorating condition. Uh, the Church Street wall is one that is uh, of a high priority. Um, we did have an abutter uh, property agree to uh, cost share with us. Um, the estimated cost is 70000 uh, The abutters committed 10000 uh, and we have $10,000 in our retaining wall reserve fund, our sidewalk uh, reserve fund that could be used because this wall is holding up a sidewalk. Um, so the uh, tax appropriation would be $50,000 uh, or 6.5 cents on the tax rate. Motion? So moved. Second? Second. Discussion? Yeah, I just want to ask a question to the manager. Do they, do, when, when they build this wall over here, do they going to hire people or they... They'll they, be contracted out. It would be contracted out? Yeah. Actually, one, one uh, wall we worked on this summer, we hired a contractor and then gave him a helper from the highway garage. So, um, whatever, is, whatever is most cost that? effective. Okay. Thank you. Uh, because this is a tax impact, it's going to cost the homeowners and the business owners who pay taxes. I'm going to be voting against it. But also, um, I would like to see, for instance, if something on, I've got about a mile and a half of road that I take care of, and um, I don't go to somebody else and ask them to do it. I have to do it, or my neighbors, we do it. And it seems like this should be done by the people along the road, or if, there, if it's a situation where people are using the road, then um, they should somehow have to help pay for that. So I'll be voting against that. Okay, any further discussion? All those in favor of 18, raise your hands. All those opposed? Okay, one in favor, four against. Transfer station container replacement and refurbishment, MSW and auger. The 40-yard uh, uh, transport containers that we haul uh, trash and uh, building materials are in need of replacement. Uh, this $12,000 is a partial uh, payment for that. It will replace one container, probably about $8,000, and the second one will get refurbished at about $4,000 and hopefully get us through it in a few years. Okay. Uh, the money comes out of their uh, enterprise fund, so there will be no tax impact. Uh, their enterprise fund is funded through uh, revenues. Okay. Motion? <coughs> Motion. Second. 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 Okay. Uh, a question I have is, evidently at some period, some years, there were, there were, they made a profit and that stayed and that went into this fund. Yes. Uh, when this fund, I don't know how much is in there now, but we're asking to take 12000 out, and um, how will that fund be replaced? Will, will we be, will, and I don't mind this, are, is my bags going to cost more so that we can replace this? There's about 35000 as of the end of this year in there, and it's been continued to be used to help cover these type of costs. Um, since at least I've been here, and I don't know how much longer, you know, from maybe the time it started. Um, as far as the increase in bags, that's something that is going to be looked at, but that would be a decision of the selectmen. Because I had heard that the um, transfer station was kind of hemorrhaging or uh, thing, I don't know, they weren't getting enough, enough money for for the recycles or it was costing them more for the pickups and stuff? Uh, when we got done looking at their revenues, they were going to come in to about what they budgeted. But there are some flexibilities in, in when they sell the product, the market could be up, it could be down. 
Um, we are losing 15000 in revenues that used to come from Casella's. Okay, well, uh, as an advocate of users paying for um, whatever they use, I hope the selectmen will um, really look hard at increasing the price of whatever we users uh, pay to uh, uh, use this product. Okay. Um, uh, we have a motion. All those in favor of 19, please raise your hands. All those opposed? Well, passes 5 to 0. And 20, and 20 is virtually the same? Virtually the same. Uh, just a little different purpose. Uh, fixing, purchasing, maintaining equipment, building, uh, and vehicles in addition to purchasing an additional supply of the uh, bags. So move. Second. So if both of those pass, we're only going to have 11,000 left in the fund then. Vote. Vote. All those in favor of 20, raise your hands. All those opposed, passes 5 nothing. Uh, Fred, just looking here, we, I mean, what are you going to get through the list? Huh? You're not going to get through no, the no. list. No, no. So <laughs> what, uh, rather than wait to the last minute to make a decision, are we going to reconvene tomorrow? Who's available to reconvene tomorrow? Same time, same station? Well, I'm not sure about that. You are not available tomorrow, are you? I'm good. You're good? I think so. I'm good. Good, good. Uh, here, or I don't I don't think this was available tomorrow here. No. We can well, get the way now. We don't have very many of us. Not. Selectman's office. I'll yeah. be at the Selectman's office, yeah. Here. Yeah, okay. Uh, do we want to go through whatever we can in the next 10 minutes, or do you want to? they got to sit up, uh, Chairman. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you're still I think, I, I think uh, we're through the tough ones, yeah. uh, not the toughest ones. Yeah. Uh, there may still be some uh, additional questions, um, but we should be able to get through the balance in a couple of hours tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow at four o'clock. So it's actually going to be a new meeting. This is just going to be a reconvening That's meeting. Right. You're so we're recessing this meeting. You're you're not adjourning it. You don't have to post so your tomorrow. Town office at four p.m. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Carol. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And maybe it's right. So, who is amassing? Mind if I put that there? Look, I'm going to cut big. No, he's a woman. Yeah, big it is. Well, we'll be careful. Yeah. Diane, is this good hearing distance? Okay. That's, yeah, I can hear you well. Good. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, it's four o'clock. We're <laughs> ready to commence. Um, <coughs> we have um, President Schuyler, Rudy, Eddie, Dan, and myself, and we have you by telephone communication, and we have Muffy via proxy to Schuyler. And uh, yesterday we went through Article 20, and so I guess, Fred, you were who's going to lead us through? Uh, we can go through, if you'd like me to start with 21. Yeah, unless there's nothing else has occurred. I, mean, I don't think anything substantive okay. has. Okay. Nope. I mean, do you and Karen want to sit at the table, Fred? Or? Well, you're wrong. Why not? Yeah, yeah. No. No. Who else is going to be here? That's right. <clears throat> I like the shirt and I like the tie, but thank you. <laughs> Articles uh, 21, 22, and 23 are all uh, capital roads projects. Uh, Article 21 is reconstruct High Street. Um, it's a supplemental appropriation from last year. If you recall, uh, I think we appropriated 80,000 last year, which wasn't quite enough to finish the uh, project. Um, when we did the engineering, we realized that the water and sewer lines uh, were too closely spaced, too closely together. Um, so now, rather than just doing the roadway and the sewer, we have to uh, deal with a much wider cut. I mean, so that has to do with uh, some type of potential overflow or infusion or something, right? Correct. Um, so that's why we encumbered the funds uh, for 2014 and are asking for an additional uh, 60000 in 2015 with 20,000 of that coming out of the uh, sewer fund, uh, thereby leaving 40,000 from taxation or 5.2 cents. 
So would we like to consider those three together? Are we thinking or? That's fine. Unless uh, everybody has, I don't know, Scarlo, your thoughts? I'll move all three and see where it goes. Okay, think for a second. Yeah. Okay. For clarification, the three that I moved are numbers 21, 22, and 23. Yeah. Is there a second, yes? Yeah, I a second from Rudy. Okay. But I'll yeah, take I your third, Diane. I have a question. <laughs> are, are we using any tax money for so long? Are three? We're using sewer. You just choosing sewer funds. For sewer. So for the sewer portion. Money for so no. We've separated all of the sewer. Uh, costs and allocated to the sewer fund. So, um, this doesn't involve any utilities, just the street? Uh, no. Uh, High Street involves uh, sewer, and we will work with the water and light on uh, separating those two systems. And both Grove Street, Upper Grove Street, and Knight Ave also involve uh, replacement of the, the sewer. Right, so, um, well, because of what Eddie said, it's got me a little bit confused. Uh, but tax money will be used to replace, replace or repair sewer. And no. 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 That's what I'm saying. Sewer user fee money will be used for the sewer. Okay, so the, the money that they're asking for here has to do just with the street then. That's uh, uh, dig up the street, replace the street. The gross appropriation is the 60000 we're going to be taking 20000 for the sewer portion of the street. So the tax impact is actually $40,000 on Article 21. See, oh. we have to gross appropriate this ward. <coughs> so the full cost is the 60000 Minus the twenty thousand from the sewer funds means the tax impact is forty thousand. Okay. Um, okay. I. All right. There's any cost to go for go for the water? It comes from the Littleton Water Light Department. Okay. So so it's then. Not in any of this. So when I said this is just for the street, that's that's correct. Be for, okay. For the, for the gravel, whatever type of. Crushing, resurfacing, and paving. Okay. Marking if there's marking needed. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Are we ready for a vote? All those in favor of approving articles 21, 22, and 23, we can signify by saying yay. Yay, yay. 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 All those opposed? All those abstaining? Abstaining. Okay, so uh, it passes uh, five to uh, nothing. All three. Okay, the next one, Fred. Okay, then Article 24, Energy Conservation Committee, uh, $25,000 uh, to be raised from taxation or 3.2 cents. Uh, purpose of this article is to fund. Uh, lighting improvements and other energy uh, improvements in town buildings. The Energy Committee has been working uh, quite diligently over the past year. Uh, they received a, a grant uh, program from the uh, New Hampshire Public Utilities Commission in which a consultant came up and went through all of the town buildings and produced a report and uh, prioritized all of the lighting improvements at all the town buildings. Uh, so this money would begin to uh, retrofit uh, the town buildings with some new, uh, if more efficient lighting. And there must be some payback on that too. Uh, they, it's all spelled out in the report what the payback is. I mean, uh, clearly there are some that have paybacks in the uh, decades. 75 years. 75 years. So they wouldn't be doing that but most of the ones that they're, they've targeted. And the total cost for all of this was well over $100,000. So they've pared it down and prioritizing those highest <coughs> uh, improvements. Um, certainly the, uh, the fire department would be one of them uh, that has a payback of around seven uh, years. 
I'd move Article 24. Second. Second. Moved by Skyler, second by Rudy. Any questions on the article? Yes, one of the reasons I'll be voting against it is because um, the uh, wastewater treatment plant is included in this, and I think anything uh, that the wastewater treatment plant wants to do should be paid for by the uh, users of the wastewater treatment plant. And approximately how much is that out of the 25000 I don't know. They haven't decided, Diane, exactly which projects to do. Um, that was a preliminary report. Then the consultants come back uh, and meet with the Energy Committee and determine exactly which buildings that they want to uh, look at and what fixtures are going to be uh, replaced and we'll prepare a detailed, uh, more detailed report of uh, exactly what the costs are going to be. Um, so this, so this is just getting them started. Treatment, the wastewater treatment plant may or may not be included in the uh, projects that um, they assigned this $25,000 to? Correct. That's correct. Uh, certainly it is a town, town building, and I do know one of the priorities in the wastewater treatment plant uh, was down in the uh, bowels of the the plant where they uh, the pumps are and the crew physically has to carry the pumps up and out into better light in order to service them um, and their recommendation was it would be a lot safer uh, for the staff uh, to put some better lighting uh, down in that underground room uh, where the pump station is and I don't um, I could go get the report and tell you what the payback is on that. I just don't have it right at hand. Okay. But, the, but the point that Dan's making is that whether that being a separate self-funded entity, whether it should be. So the point is, Diane, yes, it'll be included to what extent of the 25000 we don't know. Right. And the other piece to this is that um, I talked about the second phase. The second phase uh, may involve grant monies uh, from the uh, Public Utility Commission. Under the uh, REGI funds, Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, um, the town now qualifies for those funds. So this next phase would be to have the PUC representatives, uh, consultants come up and determine which lights that they want to replace and which may be eligible for grants and for how, how much the grants would be for. So this would not only be our share of the grant, but also uh, perhaps doing some lamping that relamping that wouldn't be grant eligible. Okay. Why shouldn't the I'm gonna put money into the sewer building down there? That that's set up for a separate entity of itself. If you put money into that, why shouldn't the sewer fund reimburse you? It could. It certainly could. could. I yeah. mean. Yeah. Yeah. No, it makes no. it legitimate, that's all. And to take Dan's comment into uh, account, we certainly could structure it that way, that these funds could only would only pay for uh, non-sewer plant-related buildings. Well, you could still do it there, you could but, do they it, would, but, but it would be reimbursed back. That's what I'm saying. These funds would only pay for the non-wastewater treatment plant. Yeah. So, uh, so, so that would... It's an entity of its own, that's why. Yeah. So that could be okay. as it... Go ahead, Diane, sorry. But that's not how the warrant article is written. So, right. can that? So, how does that influence this? This body can't change the warrant article. It's here to vote on it. And the the warrant hasn't even been posted yet. So, uh, I could include that in for the selectman's consideration tomorrow. Okay. If, if that would uh, impact your your voting. So you could either either you could actually amend it a little bit prior to posting, final posting, or administratively, you could just do that when you actually roll the funds out. Correct. Is that, is that satisfactory, Diane? Yes, it does, yes. Okay. We can vote on it because it doesn't going to change anything. The only thing is going to change. What do we talk about here to add the 15th? Well, that matters to Diane. Yeah, sorry. But the point being made, Fred, I mean, you think it would be heard, is what you're saying, and you think it makes sense. It does make sense, yeah. That's and right. to stretch, though, that $25,000, if approved, um, 
there is money in the wastewater treatment plant uh, fund to make those improvements. So I would take this uh, advice and uh, follow through with it. Okay. Any further discussion? Are we ready for a vote? All those in favor of Article 24, please say yes. 20. Yes. Yes, yes. All those opposed? No. Okay, okay so... Uh, Even with that change, Dan? That, I said that was uh, one of the reasons why I was voting uh, no on one it. One of the reasons. <laughs> okay, so five to one. It passes. Okay, Article 25. Cottage Pleasant Street Sidewalk. Transportation Alner Alternatives Grant. Wow. State of New Hampshire... Uh, came out with a grant program called the Transportation Alternatives Grant uh, in 2014. Uh, the town submitted an application for a complete rebuild of the Cottage Street sidewalk and some additional work on, on Pleasant Street, uh, kind of building on the Safe Routes to School concept. Um, the total project cost is $391,904. Um, the grant is required to have the communities uh, gross appropriate the uh, the amount so that's the purpose of this article uh, there is no tax impact but just to authorize the town to accept and expend the entire state grant amount and this is doing cottage street and so I mean this this basically uh, Cottage Street from where to where? Cottage Street from South Street up to the Beatty House, Route 302, okay. turn off. And Pleasant Street? And Pleasant Street, it was uh, some additional funding uh, if we run short on the Safe Routes to School project. I think there was an extra $30,000 out of this 391000 for that. I'll move Article 25. Is there a second? Let's see. I have a question. You know, it's just a technical reason. It says that a raise and appropriate. You're not going to raise and appropriate anything, but it says raise and appropriate. We have to do it for gross appropriation on this Warren article. It's hard to argue, but it just. Yeah, yeah it just. It doesn't sound quite right, but yes. But we're raising appropriate, but not to spend, <laughs> not to disperse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it would only uh, be. Spent if the grant is received. Uh, yeah. Okay. I want, right. yes. I yeah. want to explain why I'm going to vote no on this. Um, it's a grant. The grant, uh, the money comes from taxes. So a lot of people say, well, we'll, we'll be getting our taxes back. And, and that is true. I won't argue with that. But when we use that grant money, they're going to replace it by putting more taxes in there. And so it's a um, it, it just it just feeds on itself so for that reason I, I'm going to be voting against it any other discussion on article 25 we're ready for a vote all those in favor of article 25 please signify by saying yes yes yes, yes. yes. all those opposed no okay, so the motion passes five to one to two Said no. Oh, you. Oh, sorry. Four to two. Sorry, I thought you said yes. Yeah, I did too. Okay, Article Twenty Six, Remick Park Building Replacement Capital Reserve Fund, ten thousand dollars. Remick Park Building, I think, as we all know, is in a uh, serious <coughs> state of disrepair. Uh, New Hampshire Department of Labor, uh, state. Safety, life safety, and electrical inspector reviewed it in 2014 and essentially uh, condemned it. Um, it is still allowed to be used for a limit, very limited basis. Uh, I guess bathrooms for the uh, skating rink and perhaps some administrative uh, duties, but uh, the children cannot uh, occupy it. Um, so most of their programs have been moved elsewhere or in the process of being moved elsewhere. Um, this was, is an attempt to uh, give the parks uh, department uh, some money to um, move in the direction of replacing the building. Uh, if they have uh, a donor or uh, other grants that might be available, 
this would afford them some ready cash or could be serve as a initial infusion of a reserve fund uh, for the town to consider uh, a new building in the future. I move article number 26. Is there a second? Eddie? No. Huh? I just want to speak. Uh oh. <laughs> well, before okay, we have a motion from Scott. Is there a second? Second. Okay, so by Scarlett. Okay, yes. Ed. I object to the Warren article on the basis that the names of assignment as agents. Because of, the what? Fund because to of why? They want to. Because of why? Because they're the agent of the fund. They can spend it when I see fit with the approval of the, of the board. I think it should be a voter, a voter approval. And why would it be the selectmen and not the park commissioners? Well, well it says it with the approval of park commissioners, too. Okay. It's a recommendation. I still so say any time you put an article this tight, the message for a specific purpose, and this is not for anything specific, so I'm against it. If you pass this, what are they going to do with that 10000 on the side? It's not the problem. It would go into a reserve fund. To reserve fund. And, okay. and if the article does afford uh, the select board with a recommendation of the park commissioners uh, to expend the money for studying, planning, designing, engineering, and or building. So if, if they need some uh, short money in order to begin planning a, a new facility, yeah, then they would, they would be able to uh, have some cash available for that. Yeah. I, I, I had asked the question when they were here, and I obviously it probably was different than what I had remembered. I thought at one time that there had been a plan drawn up, but I guess I I wasn't correct on that, or maybe I was just thinking that there had been a plan drawn up. But, but I mean, that obviously that is a very old facility that's been retrofitted. I mean, they've, you know, I, mean, I, I think the first floor is quite safe. Uh, second floor has its issues, and probably the building can continue uh, into the future for some limited use, I, I would think. Storage. But, but as far as having a, a facility that the kids can really use in the summertime and or the wintertime, um, as, as tough as it is, we, we do need to look to something at some point in time in the future. And uh, I'd personally be in favor of giving them. And there again, the Park Commission's got a very good track record of not spending money uh, haphazardly. You were thinking they should have a plan. Yeah. Well, yes. Oh, they. Oh, yes. I thought they. I thought we already had one to some degree years ago. But anyway, it, you know, like I say they're they have a reputation for doing a very good job of the money that uh, that they're given. So, or mm -hmm. not given, but funded. But this anyway. could possibly afford them uh, a grant opportunity. Say they need a. Uh, they find out about a grant for a recreation uh, building of some mm -hmm. sort, mm -hmm. and they need some professional help getting that grant this or engineering, surveying, whatever might need, to at least it would afford some and they wouldn't have to wait till next town meeting to get that approved. And Andy, I <laughs> certainly understand what you're saying, but we do have a bit I of a safety. my principal too. No, that's right. But we do have a bit of a safety here as one that has the park commission needs to request it and the select board need to approve it. So I mean it right if, so they're not correct. Nobody can just add act on their own totally and Obviously, the two boards, I'm sure, would work, work well together. And if all the business happens one day a year, um, it makes for a long period of unproductive time in between. Right. <coughs> okay. Dan? I want to um, explain why I'm going to be voting no and why I suggest that the homeowners and businesses uh, who pay taxes vote no also. Uh, when you go to a ballpark to see a game, you pay to get in. When you go to Disneyland or any of those other parks, you pay to get in. I believe that uh, this park also should be um, uh, user user paid. I don't believe that the uh, taxpayers who some who do not use the park should pay for it. So for that reason, I will be voting no. Okay. Any other discussion? So can we have a vote on Article 26? All those in favor, please say yes. Yes, yes. 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 All those opposed? No. No. Okay, so uh, we have uh, four in favor and two against. So a motion passes four to two. River District Right-of-Way Land Acquisition Fund. 
which we talked a little bit about yesterday as it tied into John's larger presentation. But I guess, Fred, if you want to sure. give us the short. Um, last year, the uh, town meeting approved a $30,000 appropriation. Um, that has been earmarked uh, preliminarily to acquire the one most important parcel and assist in the relocation of that homeowner. Um, there are two other parcels that are will be impacted that will not affect uh, the the property owner's um, home per se. Uh, we simply need a right of way across their property. Uh, I did bring a print here if uh, you'd like to take a look at it. Um, and I apologize, Diane, um, but this is at the Bridge Street end of uh, Saranac Street, where the uh, last few hundred yards of uh, Bridge Street, or excuse me, Saranac Street will be relocated. Um, it will turn south at the uh, Sheltsy apartment building just after the uh, McCabe home and will traverse the uh, front yard of the Sheltsy apartment building and then uh, bisect uh, Mr. Chenard's uh, property. He has his home and his business up on Meadow Street, uh, but his lot uh, does go all the way to the river. Um, so uh, the 30000 that has been previously appropriated, uh, this is Mr. Basner's home. Uh, the 30000 would, uh, what we're discussing now is physically relocating that manufactured house to another lot uh, in town. We would then acquire the entire uh, parcel um, we would then purchase a right-of-way from Mr. Chenard uh, to cross his, his parcel uh, and pay him for his damages and also um, relocate the Sheltsy garage which is in this location and uh, turn it 90 degree angle and place it on uh, Mr. Chenard's property which we would pay him for the impact and then uh, relocate uh, Saranac Street, um, just a slightly south of the current location. The uh, existing Saranac Street right of way would then uh, revert to uh, Mr. Chenard and uh, Sheltsy if they so choose, if they so uh, wanted uh, this piece of land uh, opposite the, the roadway, uh, the new relocated roadway. So we estimate thirty thousand for this, twenty thousand for this, and twenty thousand for rights of way here. That does not include the the actual uh, construction of the road. Uh, but once you have the right of way, then we can pursue uh, funding uh, to for construction. Yeah, that also included the relocation either, right? You say you got to relocate. It does not include rebuilding the road. Oh, yeah. The only relocation is the the Basner home there. Okay. Diane, just to envision, if you were driving. Uh, up uh, Meadow Street, if you would, from uh, from Walmart, uh, and if you were to take a right-hand turn where the the street is that used to go across the bridge uh, to the other side of town, if you would, if you took that right-hand turn, headed down that street, a couple hundred feet, this would allow you to take a left-hand turn at that point in time and traverse what is currently lawns and houses, and eventually come back onto South uh, onto Saranac Street as it currently exists. Oh, okay. I, I was basically following along um, from Fred's description because I'm aware of that area. So, Dan, thank you, Steve. Okay, <laughs> Dan. We uh, the town would end up owning this piece right here. Is that correct? Is well, there, or it would we would acquire this and may use it in some negotiations with Mr. Chenard or Sheltsy in uh, affecting this right of way across their property. Okay, because I was just wondering if uh, this manufactured home here uh, with all this land here if that couldn't be moved over here where he's got well entrance I, egress right I, there. I do have a uh, an aerial photograph and if you draw a line approximately in this location it's not flat like the map so. it's not flat like the map <laughs> <laughs> okay it, it, uh, it's very steep down to the okay river. I would move article 27 okay okay, okay so 27 is moved by Skylar do I have a second second Okay, second by Rudy. Eddie? Uh, 
I'd just like to make a comment primarily is, is when you, if you deal with the adjacent landowner, what you're going to do with the land that's left over, I can understand. But when it's not adjacent to a, a landowner on the same side of the street, you're making an illegal lot for zoning. I see what you're. I see what you're saying. I see what you're well, uh, okay. I, I understand what you're saying. I mean, if the town votes on this, I'm going to say it's legal because the town supersedes the zoning ordinance. But you should you should be concerned about it. But something worth making considering. You shouldn't be making making uh, illegal. Yeah. Yeah. By, by, excuse me. By town, you mean? Uh, the selectmen, or you mean the, the population? Population votes, they can do what they want to do. The po but when the okay. selectmen do it, they, the population voted, they superseded the zoning, That's right. the zoning board? That's right. Not the selectmen, the population. The population. Okay, it's two different. Has total control. Okay, okay, thank you. But it's still not a good policy, that's all. I'm not. Going to vote. I'm not going to vote against it because of that, but I just think that it's not a good policy. I, and I understand what you're saying. And I really, the this would be the only parcel yeah, I think that, that would be affected. That um, uh, my guess is that that would have more value to the Shenards. That's correct. And then uh, the Sheltsies would prefer to pick up some additional property in this that. area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. change the negotiating. Uh, that way, there you don't point. you don't create a problem in zoning because yeah. they could come back to haunt us too. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions or points? Do, we, I, I ask, do the town has got the power to change its zoning? Oh, the, the town the has the power over everything. Yes. To change its zoning. Well, the town well, created it, the zoning. Of the yes. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why, you but know, it's, down, the town, it's not the, town the, it's not the zoning committee, it's the it town. Does, if the town yeah. wants to do something that doesn't comply with the zoning ordinance, then yeah. the town can do it. Yes. Okay. If they vote to do so, the they overall population so. votes to right. Because if I remember correctly, one time when we went to a meeting over there, they were talking about zoning changing to change, you know, to accomplish, a to that accomplish would, something. If you want to go a little bit further, we can go down, to, we can go to the state of New Hampshire, supersedes our zoning because they don't have to comply with either. <laughs> okay. The, the town is king. Okay. To our zoning ordinance. Or we're queen and the state is king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <You're right. laughs> okay. uh, this yeah. hasn't been, uh, this isn't open for the discussion yet, is it? Well, it hasn't no, been, no. it's already been, okay. Um, then I want to um, make known why I'm going to um, vote no, and I would suggest the taxpayers also turn it down. Uh, it has to do with the, the total Riverside project. Uh, a lot of the project is infrastructure, uh, is, um, excuse me, improvements, sewer and water, and uh, that hasn't been separated from the whole Riverside District project, uh, and I believe it should. I believe that that the users of the water and sewer that are going to be impacted should pay for that, not the taxpayers. So for that reason, I'll be voting no, and I suggest the um, taxpayers who are listening or watching uh, vote no also. Can I just have a short rebuttal on sure. that? I mean, I know we need to move on, but um, irrespective of the other infrastructure, realignment of Saranac Street and improving this intersection is a huge safety uh, factor for the community. So, um, you know, if you can talk about water and sewer, but this existing intersection is unsafe. That's why I'm voting for it. Have, <laughs> have there, uh, just as an aside, has, have there been any accidents reported there or anything? Oh, there have oh, been accidents oh, yeah. reported, don't oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. It is a very difficult place to pull out. Oh, I know, I, I agree I, with that. I just wondered if we had had any um, oh, yeah, no. accidents there. I My wife had one there several years ago. You tore it. Just too much. It's a, you know, and sometimes when somebody slows down for you, it's hard to read what they let, want you to do or not do. And it, yeah, it, it's just, and I'll tell you, as I said, it's a small <laughs> issue compared to this, but I have mentioned it before and I'll take the opportunity to mention it again. If the opportunity to realign Reddington Street presents itself, it's amazing how much traffic there is on Washington Street. I, I believe there's a lot of the traffic on Washington Street is because of the poor intersection between Reddington and Union. And, and people will come over the bridge, take a left-hand turn, and traveling, travel down through a neighborhood that has a ton of kids, particularly around the, you know, the, the trailer park situation, and then 
take a right on Pike Avenue and come back out. That in, anytime you have an intersection that isn't square, yeah. you leave yourself yeah. open. To, and and you're, that I mean, it's a nice wide open intersection wide, yeah. there. But still, and I'll tell you, I, when I use that intersection, I'll I'll pull up there and I'll pull up square. So I can see both directions, sure. and then first thing, the guy I got the guy behind me trying to go by me. I'm yeah. either on the right or the left. I mean, you know, <laughs> we have what was that little barber shop on the corner, and I'm not sure what the use of that is there now. But if at some point in time, <clears throat> that road really needs to be swung to the right, so basically it faces the motorcycle shop, so that you can see in, in, put a, in both directions. Put a signal lights over there because one time I was over there for half an hour, man. I can go no place. Yeah, well, well it, it's it's an odd yeah, one. It's and, very hard. You know, as was there still is the intersection with uh, West Main, except that now we have a light there. But um, anyway, just that that obviously not a high priority thing, but something on the list of you know if something was ever happening up there, um, I think that would be a, a big improvement. But that was just but now what we put on this over here, Freddie, is. Uh, to alleviate, you know, this particular intersection over here from, uh, to make it more suitable for the drive, or, you know, because if you're talking about just this, everybody's gonna put the yes, I tell you right now, the complete time. But, you know, on this over here now, right, you know, this particular intersection, it's not just uh, that you guys are gonna fix uh, middle town with the Saranac. You're talking about the complete uh, project, right? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking not, about the complete <laughs> intersection I, redesign. I'm not necessarily talking about the full river district project. Yeah, yeah. This is something that could stand this on pursuit, its own. Proceed uh, independent of the rest of the river district work. Doesn't I mean if you people would be yes, this over here can be done, and then whatever happened over here, happened less. Separate, separate. Oh, well, it's, okay. why it's a separate I article. Yeah. I got. Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor of Article 27, please say yes. 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 Okay. All those opposed? No. Okay. So the article passes five to one. Uh, article 28, Unexpended Conservation Commission Reserve Fund. And I don't know if you want, in the interest of expediency, Article 28 and 29 are essentially doing the same thing. They are taking some uh, 2014. Uh, monies that are left in those accounts uh, and putting them in the reserve funds. Uh, those reserve funds had been previously approved by town meeting right. and it's it's a hedge against future uh, appropriations. If we have some money in those funds, then a future appropriation could be less. In fact, we were able to cut $10,000 out of the welfare budget this year because we have some sufficient monies in the uh, welfare reserve fund. I'll move both 28 and 29. Second. Okay. Any discussion or questions on Articles 28 and 29? Uh, I'll be voting against those uh, because I'm not in favor of conservation commissions. I'm not in favor of any government organization that uh, can tell a property owner what they can or cannot do with their property. So that's why I'll be voting against those. Any other discussion? Okay. All those in favor of, of Articles 28 and 29 combined as they are, please say yes. Yes, yes. 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 Okay. All those opposed? Opposed. Okay. So 28 and 29 both pass 5 to 1. <clears throat> now we move to petitioned articles. Article 30. Library, restrooms, and sewer line replacement. Is Jeannie here? I am. She is here. <laughs> Would you like to speak to this? Sure. Um, okay. Sure. Library um, has had ongoing problems with um, this, our. our um, sewerage leaving the building. This has been going on for a number of years um, with having to have Schofields come in and, you know, clean out the system and whatever. And, um, but it reached, um, we, but the frequency of the problem um, increased dramatically beginning in August. 
and um, we ended up having to have Schofield come in twice, the plumbers come in many times. We spent um, over $5,000, half of our building maintenance. What do they budget. say the problem is, Jean? Well, um, the recommendation was we have um, the original sewer pipes exiting the building. Um, but what is it that's going wrong that causes them to come to have to service it? And what do they do what when What happens? Serve? We have sewer backup in the basement of the library, which okay. and I, when I say basement, some people may think that it's a cellar that's not used. That's a, the, the basement of uh, the library is a floor. Well, you where you we want have wouldn't want it backing up in your home basement either. No, but, but I mean, so is it the line that's uh, pitched cor incorrectly? Doesn't have enough pitch? Is collapsing? Is creating you know? Is accruing blockages or what is it? Um, the recommendation we got from. Um, Schofield was that because the, the pipes have been scoped various times the last time I mean tw twice this this summer and the last time was when it took them three hours of working on that line to finally open it up and um, the prop what was recommended is that we still have the original um, exiting the building is the original cast iron pipe and then there are two foot long clay pipes that are um, follow that out to where it connects with the town um, sewer pipe in, in the road. Um, one of those two foot long <coughs> clay pipes at one time actually was replaced with a PVC pipe. And, um, and you could see, you know, there was a little, I mean, the, the, the thought is that um, the pipes are old and there's some degrade degradation of the pipes so that things are catching on mm -hmm. there and building up. Okay. And now we ha did we we had a situation can't remember how many years ago but did did we appropriate money for this 5 6 7 8 years ago? No. Never? no. Did we replace the water line 5 6 7 8 years ago? No. No, no. no. Or, or talked no, about e of. or talked about either Might one have of them? Talked about it. Okay. Or maybe There's been no replacement or money put aside for okay. this particular project. Okay, so ever. this is a proposal from from Schofield to I said to him, what is your recommendation? Yeah. And he said, replace these pipes. Okay. So it's a matter of digging it up and putting in a new pipe. Right. Same and, angle, same and whatever. The, this cost is we um, um, Frank Dodge came and did an estimate for doing the work and this is based on his estimate. Okay, Dodge's that. estimate, not Schofield. Dodge's estimate. I move yes. Article thirty. Okay. Is there a second to Article second. 30? Second. Okay. Is there any? Thank you, Gene. Good You're explanation. Welcome. Any questions? Yeah, I have a comment. Uh, I'll be voting no on this because, like the parks, I feel that the library should be self supporting. Uh, they should be charging the customers such that um, the all the uh, uh, salaries and everything else that takes place should be paid by the people who use it. May I say something to that? Really? Yes, Jean, if you want to. Dan, I have to ask you, the time you came into the library and I helped you, how much would you have been willing to pay for my help? Whatever whatever it would have cost. Whatever. I do. When we, I go to... We factored in my salary, my benefits, the salary and benefits of the staff, and the upkeep of the building, and how would we divide that up? What would be the fair amount of money? That would be up to you guys. When I go to Shaw's... Oh, can I well, decide let me, this? Let me finish. <laughs> when I go to Shaw's, they've got this all figured out. They've got the price on their products. And that's and I pay it, yeah. whatever it is. Well, the problem is though, this is this is, we're a community, and and some of the things we do, we do for the benefit of everybody, regardless. Well, that's wrong. Yeah. Well, okay. I just strongly move disagree. The motion. Okay. okay. All right. So. We have a motion. We have a motion to move the motion. Any further? Okay. If not, we're ready for a vote. I, I just would like to ask, why this thing not come out before? You know, I mean, uh, they would have write. Uh, I don't know, a complaint to the town because that building belongs to the town, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Do, 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 do the library send you guys some notice about, you know, this problem? I've been working with Gene on this yeah, for several months. Oh. Um, it, yeah, yeah but, but it's as plain and simple well, as digging but up. We don't know about it. It's that. rising to the level of an emergency. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, that's great. But, but it's a simple fix, if you would. Dig yes. it up. Put a new line in. We don't have to create a new grade. We don't have to drop the sewer line in the street. It's just oh. straight 
downhill. What I'm trying to say, the citizen, they are not ready for this thing because if you were working for seven months with go, yeah. I mean, something it would have been yeah. all right, you know, people that they wouldn't know about, oh, we got, yeah. we got but, problem with the law. But as Fred said earlier, because of the nature of our business on the 12 month cycle, once a year we, okay, uh, with know. other some exceptions, we discuss the big things. Plus, you know, well, we have two restrooms that have not been what? available for since August. Believe me, people know about it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All those in favor of? Just a minute. Can I ask one question, please? Yes, Diane. Um, Jane, if um, the total amount is not expended, uh, if the uh, cost of the project actually comes in less than what is in the warrant article, um, is that money? Does that money go into the general fund of the library, or is that returned to the taxpayers? Karen, I can answer that. Um, the bills that will be paid out will be only for these uh, bills that are approved as part of this warrant article, and whatever's not expended out will fall to fund balance. In the town, the not town. in the library. Is that, okay. is that good, Diane? That's good, thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good question, good answer. Okay, all those in favor of Article 30, say yes. 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 All those opposed? Yeah. Opposed. Okay, that passes five to one. Article 31, li Littleton Library Librarian Position. The, uh, I guess I'll just give a brief. Um, originally, it was presented to you as a line item in the uh, budget. Uh, it was recommended that that be removed. It was. Uh, so the uh, library came back with a petitioned article, and that's what you see here. Move Article 31. Okay. Is there a second to Article 31? Second. Okay. Any discussion on Article 31? I'll be voting no on this for the same reason that I believe that uh, it should, <coughs> the library should charge fees that cover its uh, costs. I know you spoke to this when you came to the committee originally, do you want to make any additional comments or? Um, I just want to, just as a reminder, say that this is not, um, that this is a position to um, restore some of the hours that we lost mm -hmm. in the budget cuts of 2009 and 11, yeah. which, and we have not added hours back. I think that part of the discussion we had that night, and you know, obviously challenges that you're facing as are being faced by other entities, but uh, the ability to uh, you know attract uh, um, you know donated help, volunteer type help. I know I I mentioned to you about the uh, when you talked about the genealogical position. I know that the um, historical society also performs very much that same function. Uh, your ability maybe to coordinate with them. Uh, they have a great deal of volunteers that could probably interface with what you're trying to do in the library that you could have volunteer positions to help out. That we do use volunteers. That's not an area that we could use volunteers. We use volunteers and we have some wonderful volunteers. Yeah. But there are tasks and services that can only be provided by people who are trained and they're every day and who have um, and have an obligation to be there every day because they're, they're paid to do that job. And it's, it's a whole different level of service between um, um, people who are um, employees and people who are volunteers. And both are, both are important. Mm -hmm. We couldn't run our organizations okay. without both, but we need both. I don't get anybody who you know, obviously questions the, the value of a library. Uh, it's just the question of the appropriation on an annual basis. And us, obviously, we appreciate you doing everything that you do with the funds that you have. Um, but uh, obviously the sentiment of the committee before was that it was, I don't know, we'll see what it is today. But anyway, okay, any further discussion, Eddie? Uh, I'm going to vote against it. It was taken out of the budget. I'm not going to put it back in. It's that right to put it in the position of one article, but I won't vote for it. Okay. Okay, if we could have a vote on Article 31, all those in favor of uh, supporting the uh, $34,449 for an additional library position, please say yes. All those opposed? Opposed. No. No. Okay, that is defeated, six to nothing. Next, Article 32, Library Building, Capital Reserve Fund. I 
believe this is a uh, annual uh, request that uh, the library has put forth in the past. Uh, I'm sure Gene can answer any other questions uh, about that. Okay, so are, is it money that we're spending, Gene, annually, or is it are we accruing money for some larger this, project in the this future? This fund was cr um, created um, and and through the through the um, warrant article that was put on last year, and that was because we, the the library trustees decided to have this asked to have this fund created because there are a number of. Um, Building related um, issues that we will be facing in the future that are costly. And rather than come to the town and say, we need, you know, $30,000 or $50,000, if we could ask for smaller amounts um, so that when the time came, we wouldn't need to ask for a larger amount all at once. The, um, we, have, we do have additional problems with the basement. Which, and um, some of this money could be used. Um, the problems we have is over time with uh, moisture coming into the basement and water coming into the basement, um, we've we, uh, had to actually have the two bathrooms in the basement torn apart. And um, before those, it doesn't make any sense to put them back together again until the um, there's some mechanism in place to deal with the water and the moisture that's coming into the basement. It's, it's been happening for years, and um, it's the unfortunate thing, it, it is a basement, and even though sometimes you're fortunate to have nice dry basements, there are sometimes I've known nice dry basements to become wet basements. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it's underground obviously is always a right, and an so issue. The, the trustees Potential. have certainly um, had um, the building the. Um, building committee um, that the li library trustees have have had experts come in and give their opinions about how the problem should be dealt with, but um, it will have to be dealt with, and the trustees will make a decision um, about what um, direction they want to go in. Okay. And who, so, who who are the agents to expend on this? The um, the tr library trustees are without any involvement of the selectmen. That was the way this. The way the article was written, 32. It passed. Is there a second to Article 32? Second. Hey, um, just a question here. How much? Uh, I'm sorry, I can barely hear you, Jane. Um, on the library, the Capital Reserve Fund. How much do you currently have in there? We have fifteen thousand, Diane. From that was what the amount was last year, the first year uh, that the fund was created. And none okay, of it. Sorry. Go ahead, Nayan. Sorry. And the and the seventy five hundred for um, petition warrant article thirty. You have seventy five hundred um, coming from uh, non taxable funds. Is, is that out of that reserve fund? That's out of the um, sewer. That was out of the sewer fund, Nayan. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. And uh, that brought up a question. Uh, if we have. 15,000, I think you said, in there now because of the last mm -hmm. warrant right. article vote. Uh, could we, could you not use that for your sewer um, repair? No. It, it doesn't, no, because this money, this, this makes sense for it to be, come from the sewer fund. It's the town building, it's town sewer pipes. Well, this must be for the sewer part that's actually in the street? No, so but it's the, it's a Wouldn't town it have building. to be? It would be part of the connection problem that's happening yeah. there where the, the part was... But, but normally speaking, if the sewer fund was going to pay for something, it would be the part that was in the street and not on... It would be the part on the side of the right-of-way. Well, the town does own the whole I, well, line, but I, I, it, yeah. it's intended to be from the exterior of the building to the street and whatever improvements need to be made in the street. Yeah. For an individual, though, it would normally be from the property line. Right-of-way. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. okay. But I'd also like to add that um, we can't we can't get the restrooms fixed fixed until we get um, address have something put in place to deal with the, mo the water and moisture issues in the basement. And right now we just have one working bathroom. Um, when you have everybody using this one bathroom, the bathroom um, has ends up getting clogged up, and then um, sometimes we are able to clear it, and sometimes 
we are not and we have to call someone in. When that bathroom is not available, we have to close the library. We can't have it open with no bathroom. So um, well, that's another thing to keep in mind. Okay. Uh, the, the issue that I see with that, I mean, addressing water in a basement is a very, very difficult situation. I mean, uh, you can have all kinds, I mean, obviously you're standing above ground trying to look underground to envision what's happening and that's a very difficult task at best. I mean, and I've seen situations where buildings were ter totally circumvented, uh, you know, peripheral drainage was put in, I mean, everything done and still had water in the basement. It, it's, it's a, and so I mean, if, if you're looking forward to opening those bathrooms when and if you're able to make sure that you're going to have a dry basement, that could be a long, long time coming. I know, Steve, there's no guarantee either way, yeah. but the board, yeah. members of the board have been meeting with people yeah. who work on these types of things. Frank Dodge has, has come in yeah. and explained a, one way that, that it could be done. We've ha they've had people from other companies come in and talk with them. And I would there's tend no to, I would tend to that think that forever, Frank, but, yeah, but the I, thing is to have it continually happen, yeah. um, you know, it appears from, from the um, exploration that's been done that the water is not coming up from, it's not groundwater, it's water that's hitting the ground and coming in. It's not um, because um, Frank Dodge drilled a hole in the basement floor and every time it rained we looked and even under severe rain conditions no water came up from underneath the building. So it seems as an issue with, um, you know, coming through the, the, the old cement, uh, the old um, boulders, they're just boulders of the others, of yeah. the, is the foundation. Through the walls. Yeah. 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 So, I gotta tell um, you, my, my comfort level with this, as it was previously with the uh, Parks Commission, I would certainly feel better about this if there was a mandated coordination between the library trustees and the selectmen. There, and there's a point of clarification too, and, and perhaps um, Karen and Fred could answer this for me. Um, I know that monies cannot be expended unless there is some kind of line item or um, notice in the operating budget of, let's say, the school or, or, or the library. So is this project already line listed in um, the proposed budget for the library? No, it is not. No. The answer so, is no. So that would mean, would, does that mean then if this situation came up, I mean, I know there's an emergency situation, but um, the project may or may not occur in the coming year. I, it is the wish of the trustees to have it happen, to have this resolved as soon as possible. There, there's certainly their intention is to have it done. I mean, if, if they get the funding for it, they will, they will start um, in the spring because they've already done all the, the research. And, and, do, and do we have a cost figure on this project? It depends. The, the board will be voting on two different options, and one option is less expensive having a drain put in um, in the in interior of the basement is, is a lot less costly than having something done on the exterior of the building and that's... And do you know what those two figures are? Off the top of my head I do not, mm -hmm. but they are significantly so, different. Going back though, if it's not already line listed in the, the operating, proposed operating budget, can the money be expended for that type of a project? So, you know, that's my question here. That's a good question. But we can we in good faith put in money in into a reserve account. I'm hoping that I can We have to match up the, the, the project in a line listing in the operating okay. budget. Karen's going to give us her opinion here. Yes. Um, my thoughts are the library does have building improvements and building repair lines, um, but the money is not in the budget to do the work. So they're setting aside money in the trust fund for this Warren article, <laughs> number 33, to try to do some of that work or have money sitting there for when there is enough to do the work that they need to do. To do. Okay. Um, what they can do is once they get that money in there, the way the trust fund set up last year, 
the library commissioners, um, I believe that's what they trustees. 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 Yeah. trustees are allowed to uh, authorize expenditures for that. So they could use their building improvement, building maintenance, repair line, and pull the money from the trust fund into their revenues to cover that expense. Okay, because that that's always a critical point, uh, whether you can expend or not, but that was, um, I guess that was taken care of with the wording of the, the Warren article last year. Yes. Yeah, the Warren, okay. the, Warren, the Warren talks about no projects. It's simply putting $15,000 more into the fund. Yeah. I realize that, but I guess I'm also looking at um, clarification of how well the project is, has has or will be vetted um, before they they move forward on this, and that that was my um, I was just trying to figure that out in my own <coughs> mind. And truthfully, Diane, I'd feel better if the selectmen were involved in it because I would at least involve the trustees coming up with a plan and at least presenting it to the town manager and the selectmen for a second review prior to proceeding. That, and I mean, that's a little bit of hindsight, but I guess when it was originally set up last year, that probably would have been a good thing to do. And whether that could be amended or not, uh, I'm not sure. But um. I, I agree with you, uh, Steve, on that. But I, I think at this point, it can it won't be amended or it can't be amended. So okay. again, good faith, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any further discussion on Article 32? I'm going to. Um, recommend to the uh, taxpayers that they turn this one down because again the library should be self-supporting the the user should pay fees enough to cover any expenses that they incur okay no further discussion i'll ask for a vote all those in favor of article 32 library building capital reserve fund please say yes all those opposed Opposed? No. no. Okay. Okay. The motion is defeated, six to nothing. Community Center Capital Reserve Improvement Fund, $30,000. There's a history to this, right? Uh, there is. Uh, this is the second year they've asked for $30,000, and it is to be used towards phase two replacement and upgrade of the wiring system for the Littleton Community Center main building. Um, Beyond that, I don't have a lot of detail. I do know that uh, they were not able to finish uh, the wiring upgrades last year. Yeah. Um, I think they did give us some presentation at an earlier budget meeting. They did. Yeah. I'll move Article 33. Is there a second? Second. Okay, discussion on Article 33? Again, I'm going to uh, suggest that, this, that the taxpayers vote this down. The um, community center should be doing something to bring in uh, money to cover their expenses. Uh, the taxpayer shouldn't be burdened with that. Any further discussion? Ed? Comment. The only thing about that building, that building does not belong to the town. The building belongs to the people that are on the board that runs it. This is not a town entity. Could it at some point in time become a town entity? Or? Only if they give it up. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, but there's got to be an entity. It's not just the people. Maybe the people on the board have control of it, but well, we, they, there must be some. We do not own the property. Yeah. The town does not own that property. Yeah. Diane? Oh, yeah. Who owns it then? <laughs> I, I, think, I, I think there's an LLC or a trust or something that owns it. Do they pay tax to the town? I don't no. Know. Okay. So it's probably it's got to be a non-profit if they're not paying tax. Yeah. Okay. For, us, to, for us to give them money, which is a nice bit, we use a lot. On it, you know. Well, that has been the justification, and, yeah. and obviously, with the uh, what happened with the town building several years ago, yeah. uh, the community house started playing a much larger role in uh, in town government, town meetings, and whatever, and. Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously it's a question of, you know, I mean, what the ultimate goal is. Uh, but at least thus far, I mean, they I think they have had. Rudy, there's also the Opera House, the whole meetings, too. Yeah. yeah. 
Which is which is coming back into into play. I hope so. Yeah, me too. Okay. Any further discussion on thirty three? Uh, if I could ask for a vote, all those in favor of Article 33? Please. Yes, yes. Please say yes. Yes. All those opposed? Opposed, three to three. So we have a three to three. So I get the vote on this one. Now. I'm going to vote in favor. This will pass four to three. That's seven votes. Yes. Four to three. That's right. Who's the, one, who's the two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, He's got two. So there's seven two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, no. Yeah, she's. Yesterday, he's, Muffy gave her proxy right. to. And you um, voted it was okay. okay. All right. Okay. Okay, Article 34 Glenwood Cemetery continued wall restoration. The cemetery uh, stone wall is uh, in need of repair, and the Glenwood Cemetery. Uh, trustees have determined that they want to spread it out over time and I think this is the third fourth year fourth, fourth year, year of uh, request of 15,000 uh, and they do a few hundred foot section uh, every year and, and what year are we in for what year cycle well we're <laughs> <in> four <laughs> what, what that's time? a good question I, I, I should, what I hundred foot answer. section are we in well, um, I mean we in year four or five years or we're in year four of ten years mm -hmm. I can't answer. I'm that. not. I don't honestly. I, I I should know that. And I, I don't. I heard that there was three more years, including this request. But I would. That would be 800 more feet. I wouldn't swear to it. I, but I did hear that. I don't. I'm trying to recall the source. So I. It's hearsay. Yeah. Is there a motion? There is a motion to uh, pass number 30. Four. Four. A second? Second. I have a lot of S's and R's now here. Oh, God. <laughs> You're my first name. Okay. Um, any, and Fred, I wasn't trying to put you on it. I mean, I just know it's an ongoing yeah. thing. I just, I was hoping we were closer to the end than the beginning. Uh, I mean, I think the story going way back on that. At one time, Eddie, probably you can substantiate this. I think a large amount of their money at one time was spent creating that wall. I, I believe that that's the case, and unfortunately, as now we know with retaining walls, once you build one, you, you need to maintain it, and yeah. maintaining a, a a wall is much more involved than maintaining a fence or a berm or, you know. No question about that, but people who got, go above with a wall, they pay for it. Mm -hmm. They just I pay last week, and mm -hmm. it cost for me, you know, regardless, you know, the mm -hmm. plot, yeah. Plus the monument, yeah. I also got to pay for the for the people in charge of the cemetery to dig a hole yeah. and put a foundation on yeah. to put a cross on top. Yeah. That one day, which is about two hundred fifty dollars for individual, two hundred seventy five. Yeah. That goes to the committee, right? Or does it go to the top? No, no. Goes when to I sign the check. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, to put, their fund, to put their the monument, fund. right? Yeah. You know, you got to dig, you got to put yeah. it, put it on and yeah. stuff like that. Now, what, what, one thing about this thing, I got to put this, you know, I'm just talking about Why these people over here, right, you know, about this wall over here, they don't keep, you know, the town, the people involved, you know, why they come up, uh, like you say, how many years it takes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing with cemeteries, yeah. as with state retirement funds, is they are largely un underfunded. I mean, and this is not just our cemetery, but I think this is you know, statewide, countrywide, or whatever, that, that whatever was set up years ago uh, to maintain the cemetery, a lot of which at one time was done through a church, um, the, the, the uh, support staff or whatever to do that is, is no longer there. And um, That's a good point. What I'm going to try to say, do they come up and they tell the town manager or the salesman is said, you know, with the fifteen thousand dollars that you gave him last yeah. year, yeah. we did the yeah. oh yeah, well yeah, twenty five right. feet. But, but but the yeah. the larger issue is that just on an annual operating basis, the amount of lots that they're able to sell at the prices they're able to sell, and what they collected years ago for perpetual care was not enough money, and the perpetual care money is not keeping up with cost of operation. Still don't. 
No, I still no. So I mean that that is the biggest issue right there for the sure. Issue but, but, I mean, the thing, right? yeah, that's right. Just <laughs> the, the the wall is is a relatively small part of it. But anyway, that's an okay. aside. But something that's good to be aware of. Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion? Yes. Oh, then, oh, town uh, owns a property. To take care of the property. Oh, no, oh. So, at least they own it. Skyla? Mm -hmm. there's, there's another point yeah. that, that um, I, I thought of because I was thinking of, of Dan's answer. Um, the users can't necessarily pay for it. Okay. Now, not, I have a, that, that'd be the funny <laughs> answer, but the true answer is, if, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the association is limited by their charter or bylaws as to what they can charge for a lot. You can't you can't get what the market will bear because that there was a concern back when it started that people would buy a bunch of lots to get rich selling them and, and the only reason I know this is because one was transferred through an estate recently that had to go through the trust funds and it was it had to go back to the original two or four hundred dollars for the lot price. Yeah. and that was it Skyder, what you just said um, makes me sh shake my head in amazement. When you buy a piece of property, you always sell it at a profit, right. if you're smart. And why you wouldn't be allowed to do that, I have no idea. Well, yeah. well the original well, thought, yeah. I'm told, yeah. was that, that some they were afraid speculators would come in and buy all the lots mm -hmm. and get rich selling That lots. would be fine. Yeah. Or that only rich people could get buried. R right. I wasn't around. But and I don't know the reasoning, but yeah. they, I understand that's the way it is. Yeah. Uh, did you, Eddie, did you say that because they can't do it or something like that? Yeah. Well, In other words, you can only sell, if you own it and want to sell somebody else, it should be only sold for the same amount that you no, bought. No, no, you don't sell, you don't do your house that I way. I understand that, but that's not the way that's set up. Well, then, then that's wrong. It's, it's set up and wrong. And there's this little one that's everywhere. Okay, yeah. I, well, then it's set up wrong everywhere. Yeah. Uh, but because Rudy didn't pay enough for his cross, <laughs> and they didn't make enough money, and they're off. going to go to the taxpayers. I I will not uh, vote for and it. I know it and wasn't. I, I know it wasn't a Celtic cross. And I suggest <laughs> that was. the taxpayers it don't either. It came from Europe. I sort of got yeah. The Celtic ones got the sun in the middle yeah. before they became Christians. That's right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, Article it's... 34 is motioned. Okay. Any further germane discussion? Okay, all those in favor of Article 34 funding the cemetery for $15,000 for wall reconstruction, please say yes. Yes, yes. yes. All those opposed? Opposed, 5-1. Okay. Opposed, it, it passes 5-1. Okay, Article 35. The rest Art are, are uh, non-money articles. Right? 35, 36, 37, 38 are non-money articles, and then you're into your... Uh, social service uh, agencies, yeah. starting with 39. And so. uh, at least the last two years, um, we chose not to take a position on the social service agencies under the premise that we didn't know that much about the needs of each one of them. Therefore, we didn't feel qualified to make an opinion. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. I think that's what I remember recall. Karen? I want to make one comment on that. When I went to DRA to put the recommended, not recommended, any time that there's a warrant article that contains money that is not recommended or recommended, not recommended by this group or the selectmen, it automatically becomes not, not recommended. recommended. Right. So so. How do we rectify that, if if at all? You can't. You vote. You vote, or how about we abstain the vote? Well, <laughs> we can, but they're going to mark it as vote. not recommended. Everybody abstain. Yes. Well, we don't want to vote, and we don't want it to go out as not recommended. But it's apparently going to. We have no choice. We have no choice on that. We're going to abstain on it. The only thing we that can. can be done is it discussed at the deliberative session that. These uh, warrant articles were not voted on one way or the other but because of the guidelines just of explaining DRA, what you just explained. the state of New Hampshire. We have to put it on the ballot as not recommended. And Karen, with that in mind, um, have the selectmen taken a position on these? They plan on meeting Thursday Tomorrow at noon. noon. 
and I think last year the selectmen uh, sort of abstained and it got uh, not recommended and they explained to the people at the deliberative session that they had not voted to not recommend it, they had abstained, but it had to be marked that way. I think they did vote on something. I, I think, I think that was two years ago. Consistent two? With the well, select one, board. I remember they and did that one time. Last year, I think they did uh, okay. take a position on at least some of them okay. that they did support. I think the Grafton County senior citizens. But the ones they, they supported. But the ones they didn't, um, well, they just, neither supported nor were marked as not recommended. Correct. Okay, well, what are the thoughts? I mean, obviously, I, I see the, the problem, and it, it, I, I perfectly would like to think of no position taken should be no position taken, but I obviously understand, Karen, what you're saying. But well, the regulation is regulation. We're not going to change that. Okay. I, I think, personally, I think an explanation uh, at deliberative session is sufficient. Yes. Correct. And deliberative session, of course, is, is also taped and televised, so we ought to get the message out twice. We've said it here, we'll say it again there. Yeah. Yeah. And Fred, you, you'd feel My comfortable thought. making that? I mean, obviously it needs to be a, I don't say forceful, but it needs to be, you know, be not just mentioned, I mean, it's got to be nice. explained. Well, I, I think the it's incumbent upon these organizations to show up to deliver session yeah. and explain that's their needs. Well, yes, that's right. I mean, but I'm just saying, though, I mean, the article. Yeah, right. But we need somebody needs to, I mean, you or or, or the chairman needs to get up and say, explain, explain just what Karen point. said. This is our position on it. So don't take it as a negative. We want you, the people, to vote on these individual, individually as you well, feel fit. I'll tell you what happens, or at least used to happen. I used to be on one of these boards, and I was asked to go to the deliberative session in the event that there were questions. And the whole group was moved as one motion. That happens many that's times. What they and do. that's what normally happens. I, I never was asked a question, never had to get up. Yeah. But I, I was always there in case. Yeah. Frankly, most of them I don't believe are there or have a representative. But, but we've seen happen just what you're saying. That, you know, I think here again the, the the body feels comfortable letting the general public vote. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe even though we abstained and they marked it not recommended, I think they all passed. No. There was a couple. Oh, not several. Couple. Boys and girls one. I know. Most of most of them one. did. I most think. do. Yeah. So. Every once in a while, one doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Well, we. Well, I'm sure that Fred will go ahead and as as that process is taking place on the floor of, of moving all of the uh, social service warrant articles, um, that can be explained why it reads the way it does. So I, I think the explanation would be sufficient there. If I have the opportunity, Diane, by the time we get to Article 39 <laughs> through 48, people are tired. <laughs> they want to go home. <laughs> they don't want to listen. <laughs> should we, should yeah. we take a technical position on voting on it? That's all. Okay. Well, first we need to address 35, 36, 7, and 8. Right. Those are non-monetary. Non-monetary. Right. So, do we are we not going to vote you, on? You haven't in the past. Okay. Uh, so on the upper ones, but okay. that's your prerogative. Okay. So if we don't vote on those, is there a? Is there something on the? There's no money involved. There's no money. So there's no position taken as far as supported. Or I will double check with DRA, but I don't believe we have to. Karen, mark that. Karen, when she started telling us what DRA said, it yeah. said it only with money articles. Okay, so all right, okay, so so okay, so Thanks, <laughs> okay, okay, so 35 to 38 requiring a vote. Yes, Dan, I would like to make a comment on 35. Yeah, uh, to the taxpayers, this is the this is the only Warren article where it's going to save you some money <laughs> rather than <laughs> rather than spending money. Uh, somebody said that. somebody said something about. Um, the uh, the selectmen uh, really earned this money or something like that. But I want to mention to the to the voters who are watching that the selectmen have no problem asking you guys, including me, to uh, spend money for these other projects. So I think it would be incumbent upon the voters to ask the selectmen to uh, give up some of their money and to vote for this project. That's what I have to say. 
Why would they be giving up some of their money? They're, the selectmen are always at, this thing here is full of, of, of things of their asking for money. Yeah. And the selectmen approve of these things. So they're asking the taxpayer to, uh, to give up some of their money. Yeah. So let's have the taxpayer ask the selectmen to give up some of their money. Steve, the uh, there must be more article, to, yeah. Warren article is written yeah. in such a way that it ties the selectmen's future compensation to the state uh, general court, general assembly, state representatives. Oh, uh, I didn't know you uh, had salary, read it. Oh, okay, sorry. Which is <laughs> I was reading the abridged version. Okay. Uh, hundred dollars a year. Okay. Okay. So from what twenty five hundred? Twenty five and twenty eight hundred to yeah. one hundred dollars. It's all the meal money. No. <laughs> Well, they would be paid at the same as our. We won't ask who proposes, but anyway, okay, okay. So, so thirty-five is it the desire on thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, and thirty-eight to pass over them, for as because they are non. I would move that fine. we pass over them. Okay. So they won't. It won't show uh, on the the ballots, the budget committee's recommendations. Then. Right. Because no, they're not dollars. Okay. 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 To pass over. Okay. Um. Okay, and then 39 through 48? didn't vote on that. Oh. I moved it. Okay, moved it, and Eddie's got a second, so, okay, so we're going to have, okay, so any further discussion, we have a motion to pass over and not take a position on Articles 35 through 38. We have a second on that discussion? Oh, second. Okay, all those in favor of Skyler's motion to pass over Articles 35 oh, through 38? We haven't gotten to the discussion yet, have we? We just passed that. No, I thought you were, when I asked like this, I thought you were asking if I was giving you a Trying second. No, I'm not <laughs> no, giving you a second. No, he already seconded. I seconded it. Okay, well, he's I would like to, discussion. like to Okay, you something. got one comment, yes. Okay. Uh, again, um, these these charity organizations well, should... Boo, 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 boo. No, no, no. We're 35 through 38. That, that has to do with the... Uh, oh, sorry. Disregard. Okay. Okay, so that's thir 35 to 38. We'll okay. We have a motion made and seconded we'll to pass question. over those articles. Okay. Okay? No, so there right. being no further discussion, okay, those in favor of passing over and taking no position on articles 35 to 38, please say yes. Yes, yes. 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 All those opposed? Opposed. Okay. Well, okay, so that passes 5 to 1. I would then make a motion that for all the rest of the articles, the social service articles, that we take no, no action on them and explain at deliberative session our reasons for doing so if the opportunity arises. A second time. Okay. Uh, Dan, you wanted to make a comment on that one? No. Uh, if, if we're not going to do it, uh, we're not going to take a vote on it or anything right now. Well, well, we're going to vote to, to pass to, over. Oh, to pass oh, to over. pass over them. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor of passing over articles 39 through 48, being the petition social service articles, please say yes. 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 Okay. All those opposed. Okay. Passes six to zero. Wow. Okay. Yeah, one day. <laughs> All right, anything else? I have a comment or a question. Yeah. Um, well, a couple of things. One, Eddie, you had said when there was a discussion about the um, Glenwood Cemetery that it was town property and the town should take care of it properly or take care of the property. The library is town property, too. How do they you. Specifically, fixing the stone wall. You don't know what you're going to do with that property. No, we do know what we're going to do. They're either going to put a drain on the inside the outside of the building. We did on the drain. On the drain, I followed up. I didn't hear what. The fix of the drain. I, I voted for that. This uh, on the library. For the um for the outside pipes, you voted uh, for. But the sewer line. The sewer line, but not for. I didn't. I think it is. I say this in all respect. You say that, but that's not the board talking. About. I'm talking on, for on the board. I'm talking for the board. Mr. Chip. Yes, sir. Can you tell me what happened again on uh, Article 4 over here? You know about the uh, synthetic cannabis? Synthetic cannabis, well, yeah. we passed over that as being a non money article. Okay. okay. Four, okay. six, and eight. Yeah. Okay. You also passed on. Yeah. Do, do you think anybody's going to talk about 
you're not uh, deliver a session or something? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is, there, is there anything else? Diane, you get six minutes till 5.30. <laughs> you timed this well. I did, I did. Well, I, I think we've concluded our business for the day. Yeah. Okay, well, Diane, obviously I thank you very much for today, and I thank you very much for a very good season. So thank you, and you and Tom enjoy your winter, and we will see you in the springtime. Oh, then All right, thank you very much. See you, Diane. She wasn't going to be in Bye. Bye-bye. Fred to... Yeah. Um, well, yeah, go ahead. That's, X? Yeah, that's not the right screen, but... Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a really neat system, the way it works. Because yeah, right. right. she seems to be picking up uh, low speakers, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. right? That's very good. Yeah. That's the best thing I've seen yet. Yes. Can we run the whole meeting that way? The phone is his. We'll all just stay home. Get seven of them. We'll call in. You can just be there. Yeah, but I don't want to hear you snoring in the background. You're going to have to wake up. Well, you started something. I mean, what the heck? We'll all stay home. Well, obviously, it's nice to have that technology, and obviously it worked well this year. Anything else that we, any parting comments? We're going to not go to school, right? What? You? As I understood what I heard Brian say at the meeting, and I understand that's all I'm trying to meet with, they apparently may well take some of that surplus money and use it for repairs. That they had and indicated not, to us that they weren't yeah, going to. Yeah. Well, there was something based on they're not putting any warrant articles in it, to take care of the roof or doing anything, to make them out of simple funds to do so. As it indicated, that it's up to the board to decide. Yeah. Well, I mean, our recommendation still is that right that they have a level funded budget with the with the 2014-2015 uh, budget, and that they still target the five year average surplus of roughly five hundred fifty thousand dollars. So that that's our standing recommendation to them, and I certainly hope that they will strive to uh, achieve that. You see, it's I mean, you know, I think this this article over here about the school. $16.5 million for school and district budget formally, formally proposed. Who proposed that? That's what it's going to happen, yeah. Formally proposed? That's what you say, man. I can read the English. Uh, a lot of colleges, uh, you know. You're a college the, degree, huh? One. <laughs> <laughs> Cut my eyes, I'll shut you. <laughs> I have an accent, but... Uh, Talk about college. Well, we 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 supported the yeah we we supported the level because they basically came back to us with a level funded budget between some revenue increases and some expenditure decreases. So I think they came within thirty six thousand dollars, which we supported and still asked them to target the five hundred fifty thousand dollars. Uh, Mr. Chairman, yes, sir. When is our next meeting? Next October. <laughs> so we we are done. We, so we're done. Time. I mean, and unless you know, you know, I guess something I'm, comes up. Well, yeah, or I'm hoping that uh, you know, I I still would like to have a informal meeting come sometime in August or yeah. September when Karen feels pretty confident about her half year figures and the school has their. Uh, I mean, I think it's a worthwhile meeting to have. It, it, nothing necessarily anything gets accomplished per se, but at least everybody gets a sense to exchange some information on where we are. You should have more meeting, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, you should have more meeting. Not only that, it's worthwhile in that you bought the, you paid the tab. <laughs> you know. He did. Did I miss something? <laughs> yeah. You didn't, didn't show up, or that's. Oh. <laughs> but anyway. Lobster, champagne. <laughs> no, don't don't play it up that big. <laughs> it was more.